And Carter, uh, what what are we doing tonight? Um, we are first gonna be inside the game. So yeah, I can control. I yeah, I still don't have control. I, oh, oh, I do. It just doesn't register the stick. Okay. All right, fair enough. Sure. Um, but we uh, so yeah, I'm I'm gonna t teach you what uh, get both in screen. Teach you how to Dark Souls, aka get good, scrub. Um, it seem much like teaching. Yeah. Um, well, this is Dark Souls, so that seems kind of like not teaching. No, it's no. This is this is how you get good. All or right. Just being told repetitively and aggressively to get good. Oh, I see. Um. It's so pretty. This is very. This game is very pretty. Mm -hmm. That's gonna. Yeah, which is just a little unfortunate. This game, like, you just really want to stream it with headphones. Like, I mean, there's well, yeah, but they, right there. well, yeah, but if you can hear it, like, I, I, it, I, I wouldn't be able to hear it if I can't hear it. Like, that would be. I think that would be kind of rude for me to hear it and you to be playing it. And if that would be, I right. can't. But the That's same why time, I would be wearing the headphones. Yes, but which is why I was about to say, if I can't hear it, though, nobody can. I mean, there's a pile of headphones right there. Will they run at the same time? I mean, that's uh, literally yeah, I all this. Yeah. This okay. Is okay for. Then yeah, let's do that. <laughs> if it, you know, it doesn't. If it doesn't, you know, just completely fuck everything. I mean, it shouldn't fuck everything. Yeah. We'll find so, out. Uh, how much? How much do you um, know about the uh, the Souls games, so like lore wise I, or whatever? Uh, lore wise, I know a fair amount. Okay. Um, I have never actually played any of the Souls games. Okay. Have you I, ever played any like Bloodborne, even no. Demon Souls? No. no. So you just no. haven't. None played. of the Souls games. None of the From I, Software. None. Got it. Well, I've I played From Software games, but none of the Souls like games. Wait a minute. From Software has made games that aren't Darks that um that aren't don't involve Souls or Blood. From Software has been around since like '89. So yes. Really. It might have been. It might be like '93. Yeah, but I, like I'm curious what early games '90s, late I've, '80s. I've played by them We've, potentially. I mean, I've played a From Software game on this stream before. Really? Yeah. Which one? Um, Lost Kingdoms is a From Software game. I, I feel like I've heard it, but I don't really know it. I probably because I've talked about it mm -hmm. because I really like that game. Okay, here um, are your headphones, and let's. I mean, maybe I put them in the wrong one. I wouldn't be surprised if I put them in the wrong one. I mean, we probably have to switch the audio over to tell it to actually yeah, in the audio go settings. onto this. Yeah. Okay. Bear with us. Switch to the oh, yeah, fixing yeah. screen. Yeah, yeah, I got a fault tab. I think there, there we go. And then it's okay. There we go. You haven't switched to the fixing scene. Switch to the fixing scene. Oh, we have a fixing scene.
Okay, we're back and we couldn't make it work, but we're not going to worry about it. Um, so this Carter uh, is the most important part of, uh, of Dark Souls to get good at. The character creation. So, I have spent hours, literal hours, getting good at what is this, the most important part of the game. So, Phil, when I say I haven't played any of the games, yeah, that's true, I haven't, but I have watched them. <laughs> I do know what the games are. Yeah, no, I'm just, that was more of a self-deprivation joke of I've probably spent almost as much time in character creation than I have playing the game. It's, I, it's, I would not think it's an exaggeration to say that I have spent 25% of my hours of this game in this part of the game. Well, apparently this game is just too fucking hard for me because I can't actually you, figure out you but when it's on the PC and you go into any part this part I you see. actually have to type the name uh, no um alright type something um boy or girl or does it matter I don't care okay then we're going with my what is now actually kind of my default gender by um gender neutral gender binary whatever the fuck you want to call it name got it so yeah uh it, it's yes. basically yeah yes all right um uh, age press, aged. yeah uh press y if you want to see without any of whatever outfit you're wearing um uh class no no i don't want to cancel things um so i recommend the knight it's a very it's a very simple build. It's one of the ones i'm familiar with. It actually has some of the best starting stat distributions. Because right, but why not go um, easy mode? E um, I honestly don't know what easy mode is in Dark Souls Three. I'm guess cleric. cleric? Like, that's one of the eight things I know about this game. Is yeah. Go cleric win game. Oh okay. I've always been told go sorcerer win game because why or actually that. confront anything when you can just shoot it from across the map and never inter actually interact. Same idea, except um, cleric also has heals. Uh, yeah, but they actually don't really have many ways to interact with stuff far away, actually. Don't they have the holy arrow thing? They have Still? a lightning bolt, but you don't get that until, like, a third-ish of the way through. What's the, what's the... The blue thing that people shoot? Yeah. That's, that's sorcerer. Oh, okay. Like, um, when it comes to range, highest range is arguably bow because you know you actually get to do precision aiming well right yeah sure not but that's great. not that that really wasn't the question no i sorcerer is is easy mode as as far as i'm still aware okay so why not go sorcerer i have no idea how to play a sorcerer i've never tried it really it's never super appealed to me none of the uh character paths that sorcerers open up have been something i've super enjoyed um and also, I don't actually really like being passive in this game. I actually like banging my head against the wall until the wall is covered in blood and finally collapses. So, that's why I always like playing a knight. I like going war of attrition, sword and board. I'm so, going to get a hit in every couple of seconds. So, at first, I thought this mm -hmm. outfit had the scabbard on the wrong side. Mm-hmm. Um, but no, in fact, it has the scabbard on the correct side. It's just the wrong fucking scabbard. It has the wrong scabbard, um, and also... Yeah? Uh, it just has another sword. That is actually because you do have two swords. Yes, but there's also a dagger. That's just an accessory. <laughs> um, that is literally just there to look pretty. Mm -hmm. Um... No, that's a canteen. I thought the... the uh, she had a hip quiver, but it's just a canteen. Oh, yeah. Or a pouch um, or something. So, yeah. So, something they added in this one is... Big, uh, I, I don't know what they, they're commonly right. referred to, but essentially, the you have a mana bar, which is, I think, are called... It's called FP, which I believe stands for focus points. And those are used for spell casting, but they're also used for weapon maneuvers. I thought that was stamina. Stamina is how... So, stamina regenerates over time. Yeah. Um, focus points don't. They have to be restored with a blue Estus flask. Yeah. Um, stamina is how quickly in succession you can do things. Yeah. 
FP is how long between bonfire visits you can do things. Okay, that still doesn't answer my question. Um, because I yeah. you said you, to do stuff with your weapon, you have to use focus. I thought it uses used both. Stamina. It uses both, but one replenishes so itself. At, well, okay, yeah, fine. I okay. got all that, okay, Philip. Sorry. I, I have questions I need okay. answered. I, okay, I thought that I answered <laughs> no, your question. No, you're then, answering something else. I don't know what you're answering. Then I don't know what you're asking. <laughs> then let me ask the question. You... you you have. No, okay. I haven't. Okay. I'm asking a new question now. Okay. You aren't letting me ask a question. Okay. You're the worst at teaching. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why you thought this would be a good idea. <laughs> I thought you would let me ask questions. That was a so, mistake. if I run out of focus, I can't use my weapon anymore? You can still saying? use your weapon. You can't do fancy stuff with weapon. Like... Spin attack, or um, okay. there are right. maneuvers so there are, that will let you okay. bypass I got a shield. I, I got it, I got yeah. it, I got it. <laughs> yeah. When I say I've got it, I've got okay. it. Damn it, I hate that it doesn't let me use the freaking uh, the thumbstick. Oh. I hate that. I really, really hate that. Like, it's a fairly yeah. small thing, but it bothers the shit out of me. Mm, and there's when, no. When a game designates no. Here you will use the D-pad right. and nothing and else. And there's absolutely no reason, because it's not like this does anything else. No. If this did something else, there would at least be a reason for it. Yeah, like, but it, it makes doesn't sense that the other do one anything. doesn't, because the because other it one does rotates. The, yeah. But also, why would you use the right thumbstick for for movement? What are you, a monster? Yeah, no, that would be... I, I actually think a game would get a shit ton of flack if it did that, because it's kind of... by It's ignoring one of the kind of... Uh, established, um, yeah. uh, established like pieces of game literacy that we've established with controllers. Um, okay, so um, so is there there's something I want to pick here if I want to just shoot mm -hmm. things with a bow? Um, let's see. I think the assassin starts with a bow. You can. This was also it's it's a very Dark Souls, but at the same time, definitely something um, you could annoy. It kind of shows you what your starting equipment is yeah, without telling you anything about what the starting equipment actually is. Um, well, yeah, because the idea is after a playthrough or two, yeah, you'll know I what all. I think this does. the thief starts with a bow. Yeah, they start with um, yeah, they have a bow here, and they start with an amount of arrows. Um, I have from my experience and things I've always been told. Bows are not great in the early game just because you don't just find arrows walking around. You have to keep buying them mm -hmm. from the in from the the merchant that you meet at the very beginning All of right. the game. Alright. I'm um, I'm just gonna yeah, go sorcerer. Go sorcerer. We'll, we'll deal with it later. Sure. Um Burial Gift. Um, um so this isn't is one it, of these the correct option. There honestly isn't really a correct option. You could argue that the Sovereignless Soul is the best one because it is essentially starting the game with 2,000 extra souls. Mm -hmm. What is interesting in this, or the Young White Branch, if you want to bypass one specific part of the game where a giant doesn't rain arrows down on you, aka not very useful. Um, because you can actually go talk to him and not tell him not to shoot you with arrows before you actually get to the part where he shoots you with arrows. Mm -hmm. So really what this is something is that in Dark Souls 1, there were some arguably actual, um, actual substantial choice in your starting item that made a difference. In this, there's very little. You could argue the fire gem is the most substantial one because it allows you to get a fire weapon early, which is actually very good for a mage because if you do ever have to do any melee fighting, um... um fire the, weapons will use my intelligence instead? No. It will completely remove any um, uh, um, uh, ability score... Uh, scaling that your weapon has and replaces it with flat fire damage which, yeah, sure can, be very, which can be very useful for certain builds um, statistically speaking the raw gem is better for that because it gives better scaling as you level as you make it better um, it, but yeah it's um, there are people who have definitely done the number crunching for this game I am not one of those people okay um, but there yeah. I, I remember in some of the other Souls games, there's, like, a ring that's, like, super powerful, and that's, like, 
that's the thing that you want to pick if you um, want to like play this game normally. Um, in one, the the only ring it gave you was it was a ring that opened up a dialogue tree with an NPC that you would normally not be able to talk to without. Well, maybe it. it wasn't a ring, but there, yeah. there was like but, yeah. something that was like yeah. that gave you that actually gave you a huge benefit. It was right, kind of like, the intended thing to pick. Yeah, um, like and the, the was, light, I think it was the life ring, which gives you just a tiny bit more starting HP. Well, it wouldn't or be something. that. It was something else. But anyway, it doesn't I think matter. it was the key because the key just opens no, up. No, the key packs. is definitely not the intended no. way to play. Then absolutely I don't not. Hundred percent not. Then I like the opposite of the thing I was talking about. Yeah. Then I uh, then I definitely um, don't know which one from the first game it was. Um, it's either been too long or I always chose the ring that opened up the dialogue tree because that was our that was one of my favorite dialogue tree. Not even dialogue tree. You don't have dialogue trees in Dark Souls, but it opened up a dialogue option in uh, Dark Souls One. That All right, I this super is very good. But yeah, you're yeah, you're good. Enough. We spent eight million years on this already. That's nowhere near long enough, in my uh, my opinion, as your coach. But I mean, you do you. but the problem <laughs> is we have to actually play this game at some point. Character creation's playing the game. No, it's not. Yes, it is. <laughs> don't you dare tell me otherwise. I'm <laughs> judging you. You should. Uh, I, you rightfully should. And it's 7.30 okay. already, and we haven't done shit. Because um, I was trying so, to ask you questions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, as you... Okay, so... Why do I have my shield out now? Um, because you, I think you put... It looks like you pushed on the D-pad. Nope. To, um, I don't know. So, um... I mean, let's I pushed see. on the D-pad now. Yeah, and that but brought that, out your thing. So, what did you do that brought that up? I was don't, it... Did, were you holding a button down? No. I honestly don't know. Um, well, that's how I, I use okay. my S's, Flask. Yeah, okay, yes. So, <laughs> teach faster. I'm trying. <laughs> you aren't. Okay, then stop. And read the messages. They give you a lot of the beginning stuff, which is um, an interesting thing. Yeah, right to this. Yeah. R there you go. Yeah, M mash R1. <laughs> Don't get fancy, mash R1. You are going way too slow. Get the point of having you here is Sorry. so that you can be like... Okay. I, all right, roll with the with the B button. Yeah. And okay. then that's how you want to close in. Sure. Lock on, or lock on's fucking useless. Don't use it. No, lock on is very, very useful, except for niche moments of the game. Um, there's going to be a guy in front of you. The thing you will not be some enemies you won't be able to lock on until you aggro them or some such. Uh, uh -oh. now hit right um, while you have your weapon out or your uh, spell casting implement out. Right B uses spell, and that used up some of your blue bar. Yeah, I yeah. I, I know how mana bars work. Phil. Okay, well some <laughs> mana bars refill themselves. You're about to get the item that allows. Okay, you to but like I also have eyes. I, I don't need you to tell me what is literally in front of me. Okay. <laughs> hey, neat. I can just shoot that guy. Yeah. You can s just... Is there like an aim mode? Not for spells. Okay. Um, You can kind of jank it with the binoculars, which is an item you get later. But otherwise, it's just very... You, you're kind of just uh, free. Um, You're just kind of shooting from the hip um oh, and your yeah and your up and down affects that and also you can if i'm not mistaken curve the bullet by shooting and then changing your angle i think let's find out no maybe i'm thinking of something else or maybe it's only works when you're locked on um, Maybe. It definitely doesn't work when not locked. Okay, I'm here. Yeah. I, I, th and th this is one of the reasons I never really, like, um, went in on spells, is that the best way to use them is using them this way. Because you can actually I get... I don't think it is. You, it can be. Because, like, you, you can... Oh, hi. B, B is also... Uh, damn it. I keep oh. expecting face buttons to do things is the problem. Mm. Your bread and butter is B and right bumper and is basically almost for is almost all you really use. Dodging is incredibly efficient or you need to hold down right bumper to hold up your shield. 
I also don't like uh, the way to switch items. Yeah, it is it is very clunky. It's super inefficient. It's super inefficient. It's really awful. Um, and a lot of the... Um, and I think part of that is they... Uh, I think the game on some level kind of expects you to not ever need to make an emergency switch or a very rapid switch. The idea being that you should go in slowly and patiently and perceive what there is, make a plan, and then do it. So you're sure, never... Sure, but it's very clearly a, mm -hmm. uh, a limitation. Yes. Because there are not enough buttons on here uh, for all the controls this game wants to have. Mm -hmm. Like, literally, yes... There is a button for each control, right? But like, it's very clearly not set up yeah, in like, an ideal way. This controller thing is really awful. I kind of wish I was using a mouse and keyboard. Ow! Fuck you, you rude ass motherfucker. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, hey, your souls. Yep. You, okay. I wanted to see something. Um, How do I backstab? Um, you have to get behind them and RB and then right bumper. So you should do it. Yeah. Okay. Right in the mommy daddy's button. That's. I would what? advise not going that direction. There is a mini boss that way. Alright. Um. Also, what do you mean the mommy daddy button? I stabbed him in the middle of the spine. Um, That's not where actually anything he, related. You to actually that goes. stabbed him really low, like at the pelvis, where I the pelvis meets the spine. Where is your pelvis? Right here. Then I did not because I you, stabbed him about here. No, actually, it. No, no I saw where okay. I stabbed him. Okay, I have eyes. Okay, that's the part I do know. Okay, I yeah. <laughs> the um. The blood stains are places people have died. Somebody jumped on the yeah, foot. Yeah, yeah, I got that. Yes, what I was going to say is they're basically useless, except when there's a bunch of them. <laughs> Actually clicking on a blood stain, I never found useful because you don't get to see what they're interacting with. No, um, you just get to see how they died. But not even really because you just see, it's like hearing half the conversation. It's not uh, with really bad context. You just see, usually it's just a ghost of them feebly swinging their weapon or raising their thing, and then they eventually collapse from death. Oh, I see. That's not gonna. I see. Okay, so I can aim up and down with the camera, but aiming left and right, I've got to actually move. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, that's not yeah. great. No. Um. Oh, lighting a. Uh. Yeah. Uh, lighting a bonfire is not the same as, as resting at a bonfire. Yep. Um, and, yeah, that guy you just killed got reset. Yep. I know. Um, I, I I know what the game is. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Um, like, that, that's not the part. Okay. So, with this part, you want to uh, kill the guy on the right and then kill the guy on the left. Because the way they're set up. One um, won't really react in time to the other. And I think at a range, if you kill this guy, I wouldn't be surprised if the other guy just didn't get up. Wow, come on. Do your job. There you go. Yeah, and this is one of the reasons... Yeah. Okay, uh, here uh, you want to run and jump off that left rock on top of the sarcophagus. I see. And How do I run? Uh, B button to run, down on the left joystick, like pressing it, will make you jump while running. Oh, I see. So, okay. All right, I see. Okay. Um, Can I No, this? but you do get to do a uh, jump attack, um, oh. or a plummet attack. Okay, so I'm just fucked now. All right. Uh, well, you can just walk up around after you kill some people. Okay, so I can reset it. Yes. All right. Um, All right, and how do I do a plummet attack? So while mid air, yeah, press right bumper. Okay. That didn't work. It did. You just didn't. Um, you, you just didn't quite. You either weren't. I, I didn't do what? Like I, that's I, the I, thing I, I, I need. I, I, 
you I don't think you were you want to face into him when you do it so you want to land either right behind him or but your front has to be pointing at him okay how could I have how could I have been more at him because I was um, like inside of his corpus like how how do I do that it's about angling your the camera right, but like, the camera and the, the because when you when it's the way you the direction you land is the direction that the attack like arcs to um so even if your person doesn't necessarily land facing him if the camera is facing him it will move the attack okay so it's about the camera yes your attacks are almost always about the direction of the camera to some extent. Okay, so this guy was just dead the whole time. Well, um, no, I thought you shot him. Nope. No? Nope. I only shot this guy. Huh. There is gonna be a guy... Yeah. Hi. He has a real sword. No, he doesn't. Well, okay, let me rephrase. He has a not broken sword. Um, there is some guys down this way, but this is a new chance to do a plummet attack if you want to go around the left, which I would recommend. I feel like that's just going to result in me flying off the cliff. You would think so, but you won't. Hopefully. Um, you so say that you so angle the camera and see if you can lock on to him, the preferably the one on the left. Yeah, and now what? You didn't fall off. I don't know how you died. I honestly don't know how that happened. Does, Were you at low HP? I mean, kind of low, but, but yeah, not like super low. Um, uh, let's see. Let's see if you can lock on. There you go. Okay. Pew pew. Keep forgetting that lock on is a thing. Mm-hmm. Um, because also, it's pushing in so on the right stick. The D pad is how you adjust your items. Yeah, I figured all that out because yeah. I had to. Yeah. <laughs> the de the one on the bottom will swap you between the blue and the green the red one. The red one for health, blue one for mana. Um Alright, so, so let's try this again. Yeah. You had a good running start. And you said uh, what is jump? Pressing down on oh, the left, left stick. stick. Okay. Yeah, if you read the message, I think it... Um, well, yeah. I did it. You did it, just not quite the right point. You want to do it at the um, very end. Okay, let's try this again. Let's All try right. locking on. Oh. Yeah, well, there you go. <laughs> Lock, yeah, locking on. I did it. Honestly, I locking on during the drop attack can be useful. It, it can definitely work. Well, it I, works because I locked on midair. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and you can lock on midair. Um, I'm really curious. So, j heads up. Good. Um, through that gateway will is the, where a boss fight happens, but in this instance, you get to choose when to initiate it. Um, All right, so. let's try this again. Yeah. Okay. How do I kick? Um, by pressing forward on the left stick and right bumper at the same time, like that. And that is a way to get pat to knock people's shields up. Um, there's going to be a guy at the top of this hill, and I did we kill the guy on the slope? I killed that oh, guy. Oh, oh, right. We shot him first thing. That's what we did. Um. So, oh, and that, there's oh, these two. guys, uh, guy on the right, then the guy on the left. Is I thought it was the, not from this direction. Oh, I see. So it's yeah. always right first. Mm -hmm. Or basically whichever one's closest. And in this, the one on the right, right so, is slightly. So always the right first. Because yeah. if I'm on this side, it's this yeah. right. If I'm on that side, it's mm -hmm. that right. I'm just going to save this guy. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, at this point, you're, I think you're going to want to go back up to the, yeah, uh, yeah try uh, doing this jump, but. After that, we're going to go back to the bonfire, just completely reset. God, these controls are awful. I like them. <laughs> but I'm also incredibly used to them. I wonder what he dropped. I wonder if he dropped a very uh, special... Nope, Fading Soul. So, uh, you, you know, souls are consumable versions of the things that you're stabbing out of these yeah, people. Yeah, yeah, um, the, Like I said, I've, I've seen this game. I, yeah. I've seen literally every Souls game. Um... Uh, when you do that jump, do actually the lower rock to the left. It's actually the better one to jump from. The one? Oh, oh the, the one, one to the left. Okay, yeah, yeah, the one that is lower is actually the better one to jump off of. You wouldn't think it, but it is. No, and I was 
actually yeah. about to try that because it's just way closer. Mm-hmm. All right, and that time I just didn't wait long enough. Right. Woohoo! Platforming. Okay, everyone so, loves no, platforming. Yeah, uh, I would drink an Estus because I don't. Th- your dexterity stat determines how much damage you take from fall damage, and I think the sorcerer has a decently low dexterity. There you go, Estus shard. Yeah. Or Titanite shard. Sorry. Especially Estus shard. <laughs> Platforming, especially when your jump button is a three-button combo. That's great. Yep. Everyone loves it. I do. It's not good. It's really good. Okay, so now I recommend going back to the bonfire, completely uh, healing up on just all your items, your Estus, and then basically all you're going to have to do is kill this schmuck that you come, that you face straight on, kill the guy that you fall on, kill the guy with the crossbow, and you can just walk straight into the boss room. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. Ah, dodge too um, soon. Yeah, so I uh, recommend locking on quick, because just because that keeps your camera on them. Ooh. Okay, I guess that guy had extra health? Because every other mm-hmm. time, slapping them twice hmm. killed them, and that time it took three times. Interesting. Um, I wonder if some of the weapons have... A, um, yeah, that's another thing I personally find annoying is that picking up an item leaves it there. Yeah. Um, I don't practice this. Yeah. No, then this is a good place to practice. Um, so lock on now. Yeah. And luckily you're, he, maybe he's a little sturdier than the others for some reason. Because yeah. he takes... Th- you're right, he took three. Maybe it has something to do with the other ones that when you first hit them were, like, helpless to some degree. Like, they're curled up on the ground, so maybe that has something to do with it. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, yeah. There is oh, no... God, there, earlier. Yeah. Hey. Nice. Okay. Yeah, see, because that guy just slapped twice. Yeah. Even though he I was know the bo- directly at me. Yeah, which I think the weapon they're carrying the term it does actually give them like some they have amount. Sets. Yeah, some amount. Like of not it. the weapon gives it to them, but like yeah, but what they're carrying does what. All right. So this is the first boss fight. Um, Iudex, um, Iudex, Gundir. So you're going to rip this sword out of his chest. Why would I do that? Because that's the only way to progress. Oh. I don't want to do that. Okay, so now... I want to just go to the store. Well, okay. I want, I want to just leave. Okay. It's, okay, it's, just, it's not even locked. It's just not interactable. Nope. <laughs> so, okay, so... This game is what, This guy is... Have you seen this boss fight before? Yeah. You have? Yeah. Okay. But I don't know how to do it. Like, okay. I've seen people so, do it, but... So, this is what I recommend. All right. Um, first of all, we're uh, going to the start menu. Press start. Uh... Go into the shield, so press A. Go down to your shield. Oh, fucking press man. X. Just get rid of it. You don't want it equipped. Okay, you're a little, just a little more. Go down and take off either the hoods or the gloves. We want to get your weight ratio below 30%, um, but at or below 30%. Okay. Um, yeah, and I'm trying to figure out what these actually do for me. Um, to try to figure out which one. It is looks like the nice. hood gives you a little bit more. Uh, go back to the gloves. The gloves are going to be more useful. This guy has no magic damage. He's purely physical. The gloves do give you a tiny bit more physical damage absorption. All right. Um, and so now your rolls are better. You have more iframes during them, and you will go a little bit further in distance when you roll. Now press Y. Y dual wields your weapon. You will deal more damage while two-handing a weapon, even if it's a dagger. Yeah. Yeah, that's actually good. See, kind of, cause so now, when you hit this guy, if you're feeling comfortable that you can just go in, um, do as many RBs as possible, you want to swing four times. Four times will leave you with just enough stamina. Now roll. Yeah, to give you enough stamina to roll with. Okay, so that should be enough to roll in. Yes. And then, oh, I fucked that up and hit it okay. an extra time. But yeah. Okay. 
timing on that is different than I think it is. Hmm. Okay, hold on. Well, eh, fuck it. Let's see yeah. how bad we do. Okay, so I would recommend ripping out the sword. Hitting, well, even though you won't be able to see his health bar, you will be able to hit him. Got him. Just wail on him. Pull out the sword, start wailing. And and rotate to the right is my recommendation. Okay, now back up and lock on. So, he likes to do the thrusts. Always roll in and mm -hmm. against the attack. Because the weapon will pass you and the iframe intersection is less. Um, I also recommend... Ba okay, back up. That was my fault. When I say <laughs> back up, I mean roll back. Oh, okay. Any, yeah. That's different. Uh, sorry. Anytime, yeah, anytime you are moving away from the boss, it is always better to roll. Just because that moot, your you are in iframes as you are disengaging. I find one of the best ways to engage him is once you, um, uh, once you are, have wailed on him, um, from his beginning, back up and try to start, I just also remembered something else that's going to be useful. Um, mm -hmm. Nice roll. Um, go back into your items. Um, go down to your um, blue Estus. I would argue... Let's leave it on, I think. But go over to the next item slot. Go okay. in. Put on the fire bombs. Um, as I recall, when this guy hits his stage two, he you, you know what happens. He erupts with all the black yeah. iker and shows off, I think... Jake says it's called the Puss of Humanity or something, or Puss of Greed, something, Puss of Avarice, something. When he's in that mode, fire damage stuns him. Okay. If, so you can go up and wail on him. Um, if I go through, is he going to just... He will be. He will begin standing up. You All will right. have a chance to get to your souls. Um, which, as I recall, are be actually between you and him. Yep. So I recommend, while he is in this mode... Okay, lock on. Roll. Roll. Okay. All right, goal here, grab souls. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we got the souls. So he, his most of his attacks are primarily forward thrusting. Okay. The best way I have found to do him is, okay, we can't pull the sword out anymore. We don't get the benefit of those blows. Is make him, he does a move where he leaps you back up from him. You can still be locked onto him, back up, and he will do a leap attack. Leap attacks are your friends in this game because they're very, they're, um, very, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, I have no idea. You, they're, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? I, I usually know this word. It, telegraphed. Ah. Very telegraphed. He jumps in the air. He does a, a um, a, a, tries to plunge down on you with his, um, gladius. And, um, you can, when he's on the descent, Roll forward, you will end up behind him, and you can get in a good few shots, and then back up. And just keep doing that, and you'll keep attempting either a jump attack or a lunge attack. Both of which are pretty easy to dodge, because they, again, are very telegraphed. But then once he gets to, um, um, the other thing is when he, you will very noticeably see it, when he starts erupting into his black iker. You want to go... Okay, apparently okay. I can't grab those while I'm rolling. Good to know. Yeah, that move? Yeah, that's the move that you want to try and get him to do. Roll. You can't see him? Roll. Yep. <laughs> okay, lock on. Trying. Where is he? I don't even see him. There he is. Okay, so kind of back up a bit. Roll in. So those are the two things he'll do. Are He'll slam down and... Okay, I yeah. I pressed the roll button and it didn't go mm. off until after I got hit. And like, roll forwards. Step in the butt. Now back up. Back up. Uh, S is flask. X. Uh, this. And yeah. Okay. 
And roll forward. Stab him in the butt. Back up. Okay. Yeah. So that, this will work for the first half. Once he erupts... Wait. Once he um, starts erupting out, move to the right and get behind him. You can get, you, you can get in a few good um, thrusts. And then this is the part where I have it really... Uh, oof. That sucked. Um... Okay. Um, let me see. I thought I was supposed to roll forward when he charges. You... Did I have the wrong timing? Or um, what? I think you didn't have the quite the right angle. You want, um, in a straight on attack like that, you want to do just like a 45 degree angle and aim for his sides usually. Or where you want to roll when you roll into an enemy. Um... Three. Yeah, see, those guys took three as well. Yeah, I don't know. That's weird. Yeah. Maybe, um, maybe because it looks like the second blow gets them to so low, you thought you killed them, but you did a third swing that you thought maybe... I don't know. Um, no, I guess I had just... Yeah. Um, Miscounted? Well, no, I guess I had just shot all of the guys that took three before that. Mm. Yeah, because this guy does take two. Man, you must have decent... Uh, the sorcerer must come with decent luck. Because uh, your luck affects um, your item, uh, item drop rate. Mm -hmm. Along with bleed buildup and poison buildup offensively. Oh, okay, that's cool. Yeah. Um, which is, there is a luck build for this. Because one of the best weapons doesn't tell you, except in the item descriptor. But it scales off luck. Okay, you need to be careful here, because I have backed up off the cliff. Okay. And... But there's a, a decent guy between the pool and the cliff. Yeah. And roll forward. Back roll. Keep back. Yeah. When, when okay. you're disengaging, try and double back roll. And roll forward. That yeah, nice. Yeah. There you go. Back up. Back up. Oh, uh, iframes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> iframes, FTW. And roll forward. Ooh. I rolled the wrong way, but it's yeah, fine. fine. It's fine. Not dying is better than... Nice. Yeah, exactly. Okay. After right, the next... There. I'm pretty sure after your next few hits, he's gonna um, go into phase two. Ah. ah. Roll too late. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, God. Roll, roll, roll. Yeah. Roll. Drink. You can double tap the Estus as you drink. So you, you can, in a, it takes just a little bit longer, but it's better. Oops, wrong button. Okay. Um, roll. roll. Okay. Roll. Roll. Back. Roll. Okay, you're good. Roll. 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 And double tap. There you go. Okay. Oh, I well, see. we're out. Um, it's fine. You'll be fine. Roll forward. Nice. And. Okay, now he's going to erupt. Swap over to your fire bombs because you have no reason to roll. Do I? Yeah. Do I just use them? Yeah. While you're locked on? Yeah. Okay. Okay, they don't. Uh, do they not? Okay, apparently they don't. Apparently it's only the small ones. And. And now I'm dead. Yeah. Okay. And I used both of my fire bombs. Well, they did yeah. do a ton of damage. They do too. do. They do quite a bit of damage. Unfortunately, they're gone now. They are unfortunately gone. You still have two though. Um, so I'm thinking. I say kill him with magic. Okay. I say kill him with magic in the second phase. Just keep your distance, and kill him with magic. We'll I mean, I'm not gonna fight you on plan. Kill him with magic. Yeah. Um, heavy soul arrow. So yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's Hi. It, it's pretty satisfying. And also, I figured out what my problem with the plunging attack is, mm -hmm. like why I couldn't figure it out. Yeah, it's because you have to hit it in midair, but it doesn't actually go off until you get near them. Yeah, it's no matter when you hit it, it's not a timing thing. Nope, it's very much a I'm in the air, I'm gonna rapid fire R1. I'm not. I, I haven't used magic on the boss yet. 
No, we haven't I'm tried about to yet. now because yeah. fuck but this you, boss. You've got, but I think you've uh, figured out the stage one though. Stage yeah. two is just hard because it's it is honestly just kind of hard uh, to see what's happening. I really I got and greedy. Roll forward. Back roll. Back roll. Yeah. A little to the left. Oh no, your soldier to the right. I'm wrong. Oh god. Run. You got him. You totally got him. I got them. That was the goal. Yep. Um, um, also, I fucked this somehow. All right, there we go. Back. Okay. All right. Ow. Sprint. No, no. that would be a very bad idea here. Back roll. Back roll. Back roll. Back roll. <laughs> oh god. So a lot of the times you're rolling to the side when I think you want to be back rolling. And unfortunately, you really if the angle yeah. is slightly there. Part, part of the yeah. problem is I keep thinking that the side roll is going to be the same distance as the back roll, mm. and it's not. No. It's not even close. No, it's, it's not. It's way, way, way shorter. It is. Which makes sense from like a physical perspective of like trying to roll, but, but it's really for, weird in a video game. Yeah, it's one of those things where you expect the game physics to... Yeah. Well, fuck you. Oh, he... Man, you're getting so me. Uh, can we actually just go in real quick and see how many fading souls you have? Because uh, sure. I think you have at least I want to say ten. Inventory. Seven. That's seven times fifty is three hundred fifty. That's mm -hmm. that's a, that's a that's a level. That's your first level up. Neat. Um, is this three? This is three. Um, which speaking of the difference between uh them. One of the things I really loved in this is if you just want to mass get rid of a bunch of those soul items, you can sell them to a vendor at the same price at which you would crack them. Oh, that's nice. That's yeah, good. yeah, it's so convenient. Them takes so long. It does. I like cracking the big ones because it's we should have a, a nice death visual. Um, oh yeah. How many times have we died? I have no idea. I, I think we can actually look it up. Um, go, uh, hit uh, start. Uh, go over to s system. I think it might be in system. Um, go uh, right bumper. Yeah. Wait, go back. Le no, that was level. Um, let me think. Died to the plunging attack. You died once in the cemetery, and we fought the boss three, four times. So we're at six. Sure. There we go. Okay. Thank you, check the drive. Um, yeah, sorry, that was supposed to be my responsibility. Um, so, okay. 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 And I, I reckon, yeah, lock on. Nice. Hey! Okay. Alright, got there with the iframes. Yeah. Uh, I'm on. I want him to jump. Yeah. So I just want to stay as far away from him as I can. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, he'll, That's he fine. should be about to do it Didn't now. die. Didn't get hurt. All is good. Keep trying to change the camera angle. Nice. Run. Oh, fuck. Okay. Oh, that was a weird place for him to do it. Fuck. Fuck it. Nice. What? Nice. Ah. You didn't know. You're you're doing good. <laughs> uh. You're doing good. Uh. Okay. Runway. Runway. Nice. Runway. Yeah. All right. Feeling good. Feeling Go forward. Good. Nice. Okay. Feeling powerful. Feeling sassy. Ooh. Got greedy. You got greedy, but. You know? <laughs> okay, okay. The green pain. Okay, so he's going to he's going to um transform, transform after this. Ow. No, maybe not. <laughs> Ooh. Maybe he's gonna take a second. Okay. Wait. Oh man. Estus. Nope. Whoop. I would yeah, recommend Estusing before Yep. Ow. Ah, darn. Okay. Nice. Woo! Okay. 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 We're down to Please. one Estus, but we're yeah. And yeah, roll forward. Oh. Okay. Okay. Rotate to the right and behind. Right and behind. Roll. Go in for the stab. Okay. Back up. Back up. Back up. Swap to uh, magic. Okay. Ow. Okay. Ow. Oof. 
it's hard to see it because the, it hides so much of it in the tail. Um, swat to light soul arrow, I think. I think you want those quicker attacks because it doesn't take as long to cast. Okay. It deals plenty of damage. <laughs> Get f Yeah, there you go, man. This enemy motherfucker thinks he can beat the stereotypical black man at baseball. Say of 2017. That's basketball. One. Shut up. Which makes more sense. Yeah. Ooh, look. I got a, a coiled. coiled sword. Unfortunately, you cannot wield that sword. It is a key item. So I yeah. assume I use it to make a bonfire because mm -hmm. the bonfires have these coiled swords. Yes. Um, so uh, I thought it. there was a way to get that sword it as is, a weapon. Though. It is, and I think it's either much later in the game or I can't remember if it's part of the DLC. I don't so remember which. Why is my or it's not humanity in this game, but whatever it is embered? Like, yes, I. It's why is it like make you glow or why? Is it just fucked up like that because I died? Oh, like the crack? Yeah, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's just how it look always looks. Oh, um, okay, cool. Because you are not, yeah. Um, you, that is not. That's the way you came in. I know. I okay. just want to. Oh, shoot that man in the butt. See if he dropped an item. Good point. You have apparently no. good enough luck. Um, I mean, I kind of want to just <laughs> just yeah. build luck now. It's not a bad build. The problem is that it doesn't pay off until ha the halfway point of the game. Mm. At which point you kind of have to, um, uh, you have to run around with the Uchigana. Ooh! Oh man, we get to fight sword. We get to fight the guy with the karate sword. <laughs> We're getting you the karate. You want the karate sword. The karate sword is really I? fucking good. But I want to stab people at range with magic. Okay. Then we won't go for the karate sword. Um, so, at this point, there's really nothing impo really important here. It is better to go up and follow the stairs, and you'll curve around on the right, just okay. to avoid enemies. Not that path, more right. Yeah, that way. Okay. Oh, hey, I don't remember him. I don't think I've killed him before. I can't... I, it's... Nope, that's not what I wanted. What do you want to do? Uh, item down how here. do I kick? Oh, um, I don't think you can kick when you have the implement out. Oh. It is, I think, item. It is okay. weapon specific. Oh, neat. Uh, there doesn't seem to oh, be. Oh, you wanted to. Here. You wanted to Spart Sparta kick him off. Yeah. I don't yeah. blame you. Um, that seemed like fun, and he was like staring out at the view, going yeah. like, "Oh, what a beautiful yeah. day." Uh, going through the doors. Let's go ahead and get your souls, your levels. Can I, no. grab I mean, oh, well, I mean, if you want to kill a dog around the corner. No. I mean, the dog's gonna try and kill you. If, no. Then go in through the door. That's so sad. And there's no like items or anything. There are, but I would. I mean, I I All right. would, I, I personally just do this because you know what? I really don't want to accidentally die to one of those motherfuckers, lose all my souls, and have to walk all the way the fuck back through. I mean, like I just don't want to risk the four thousand souls at this level. It's not that far. Okay. It's like right there. But um. Because I, I just rested at Bonfire, pretty much. Yeah. Um, I just, this is the first time you'll have a chance to level. Um, because you level by talking to the nice lady at the bo at, um, at the bottom of the shrine. Hmm. Um, is there we, anything up in here? Or? Not up here. This is where some NPCs will eventually show up okay. at the shrine. Um, but there's every, nothing here now. No. The one thing we can do is try and go get the silver serpent ring, um, which you can, if you can jump off a tree correctly, it's a ring that will give you more souls. All right. Um, Let's try it. Yeah. Uh, Where do I go for that? Uh, you need to go, first you um, go, um, go down and no. Uh, let's see. Uh. This is where I came. Okay, I see. Uh, you need to go up and then up those stairs. These stairs? Yes. Okay. They'll take you to a, a different point. Um, actually, real quick, can we make chat a little bit bigger? Just so it's easier for me to read. Yeah. Okay. And there we go. Okay, you're back in control. Um, let's see. Is it further up or is it... Was it uh, no, it was behind you on the... It'll be on your left now. Out these. And okay. then go left. Up those stairs. Very nice. Yeah. All right. 
Um, so there's a tower here. I'm yes. Guessing so this normally, is locked. Ooh, nice. yes, um, you can buy it from the one of the shrine keepers for twenty thousand souls. You can buy the key. That's a large number of souls. It's a lot of souls. That would normally would allow you to go up, drop onto the roof, knock that ladder down, and then you can get up there whenever you want. Um, what we're okay. going to be doing is uh, turn around. Okay. See that tree on your right? Yes. Okay. This um, one's right ahead. Yes. So you want to be back up. Uh, be more to the right. That tree is a person. So you will see some tr people in trees later. And from what I have figured out is you will sometimes see hollows. Real quick though, what am I doing here? Oh, you are tr basically trying to run up the tree and then make a very hard um, camera turn right to jump on the roof. Okay, so I'm trying to run up the this tree. tree and jump onto that roof. And you need to kind of do it from this ladder corner. What? What? That? I don't... Do, do you want me to right. try it and do it to kind of show you what you're supposed to do? Um... Because we never said that I wasn't okay, allowed but, to touch the controller. Well, but like, what... Alright, so I'm supposed to run at this up tree. Up the tree. And then... Once once you kind of hit that tip and begin slowly Oh, I'm trying to jump onto this roof. Jump onto that roof. I thought yes. you were saying I had to jump onto no. that roof. Oh, I no, was no, like, no, no, that no, doesn't no. make any no, fucking no, sense. No, no, no. That, that, that roof. The okay. one right next to the tree. Now, and... Okay. <laughs> the problem is I feel like I need three hands for this. A little bit. Alright. Because this is... I don't think this was something they necessarily intended, but left. And you right. do, you kind of want to do it, I, weirdly enough, more from the right side and make a very hard camera turn as okay. you run up the tree. Or a hard jump, yeah, like kind of like that, but further up the tree. Yeah. And it's just, it's this, this jump, you, man. You got to get used to the ju uh, jump. And unfortunately, it just doesn't come up very often, which. Well, I jumped. You and got I jumped to the right the height, tree. and you did get the right height. Yeah. But yeah, it's a lot of it is the because the jump will kind of go in the direction you point it, the camera point versus your body point. Uh huh. I think like it, it's kind of hard for me to remember because a lot of it was just figuring it, feeling it through. It's kind of hard for me to describe. Um, okay. But yeah, but it's, it it needs a moment because it's yeah, it like you it, your body will mm -hmm. will correct to the camera, but it needs like a moment. Mm -hmm. And this is something that can take a while. Luckily, so. this is something where I can't die, so this gives yeah. me a chance to well, practice. I mean, technically, okay, but it would yeah. take you for fucking ever. It it to would take a while. So, so someone keep an eye on my health. And, and you know, help me not kill myself with this. Yeah, and nope. you're not trying to jump on the square part, actually. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I, I, I just know, wanted to make sure. Not, I just wanted to make sure because yeah. I think the first time I tried it, I thought that was where you were supposed to land because it felt like you always got so close to it. But it's a weird. I'm trying part. to land on the much lower part. Yes. No, I slipped off the tree before it jumped. Mm -hmm. And. uh... But yeah, and that item there isn't actually what you're going for. You're going for an item that is inside. Where actually you'll be able to talk to um, the nice uh, the nice crow. Oh, that that's will, fun. Yeah, pickle pea pumperum. I feel like that was really close. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah, and I thought that was two crows. Um, the invisible crows. Yeah, and I can't tell if it is two crows or if it's one crow with an especially long name. The Dark Souls wiki has deemed them um, uh, Pickle P. Pumperump is what they have called the crow. That might be a file name that they're using after, the, you know, that maybe somebody data mined it. Yeah. Um, but that's how what the wiki refers to it. I think we'll be able to give him a firebomb for something. Ah. Uh. I'm really hoping that this wasn't like patched out. It was <laughs> not. It, it was not. Okay. I have done it this week. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Did I jump too early? I. Uh, it's. If I recall, you actually. Oh. Okay. That was where you wanted to jump, but it's the angle. It's yeah. Okay. I jumped too soon on that one. Mm -hmm. I think. And. I 
think you want to be a little more right on the tree. Okay. I think. I think it's one of those things like where... over here? Uh, not quite. It's it's hard and... You, so, okay, run up the tree and you see how you kind of fall and then you can kind of go a little bit back. It'll put you a little bit back up. Yeah. I think that's about the moment you want to jump is that back up. Mm -hmm. And you need to be a little bit on the right side of the tree so you don't get, get caught on the you don't get hung on it. Yeah, it's it's a super weird thing that's well, it's clearly not intended. Yeah, I think it's one of those things that's not intended, but they left in mm -hmm. because this game is. I think they like Ow. putting in those little things. Oh, uh, <laughs> actually getting close uh, to I'm, killing yourself. Yeah, I mean, there's no reason not to s this, right? No. It's oh! oh game, please. I actually kind of thought I had it on that one. Oh. Uh, okay, okay, we're definitely but getting closer. Um, it's yeah. I just feel like I could be giving you better advice, but I just don't. I'd have to feel it. Yeah, if I, no, I, and I, I want to leave the control, and I want yeah. to leave the controller in your hand. I think I've got the idea. Yeah, it's definitely a really. I think a big part of it is that very hard camera change of camera angle. Yeah. Because I, I didn't turn the camera mm -hmm. soon enough on that one. <laughs> we definitely know how well this is going to go check the drive. He's going to nail it. Eventually. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's pretty much nail it or don't on this. Yeah. There's not really a muddled victory here. No. But yeah, because like, there's the hump, and if you're just barely on the wrong yep. part of it. Um, right. But yeah, the... the Silver Serpent Ring, yeah, when you kill stuff, you get more souls, um, and this is about as early as you can, this is literally as quick as you can get it, before even igniting the, the main bonfire. Yeah, I mean, we really haven't even started this game. Oh, no, yeah, the, um, the game has not truly begun yet. Um, but yeah, you, you get a ring, you're able to talk to Pickle P. Which, see, that is kind of, though, what makes me think that they not necessarily intended, but very appropriately left it in. Because normally, if I think as the game intends, you earn the 20,000 souls, you go through the tower, you go up on top, and you there's a nest, and you can talk to Pickle P. But then there's a crow's nest inside, up on the rafters right below. So there are two places to interact with Pickle P. But one involves you going up the ladder and being on the roof and talking to the crow. And one involves you going up the ladder, going on the roof, dropping down to this part of the roof, going inside onto the rafters. Rap. Ha, rafters. rafters. <laughs> the, the rafters rafter. Except it's not a rafter, it's a Corbin. Um, and talking to them. Which I think is kind of weird. So I, I almost wonder if... This was like a not intended, someone found it, decided to leave it in, and then even gave a little extra for finding it. No. Um, but, you know, there, I have no way of yeah, maybe. really knowing. Because I think it's interesting that there's two places to interact with. Because as far as I'm aware, there's no other way to gain access to the rafters. Except um, either opening this gate or making this jump. Um, oh, you didn't take damage that time. I guess maybe you slid on the wall or something. Yeah, I don't know. I yeah. couldn't see me. I couldn't see you either. Um, yeah. Uh, I'd be as, impressed if you as, could. Um, as, camera, as Cameron likes to say, easy mode in Dark Souls would be having a camera that fucking worked. <laughs> um, oh, oh, are you kidding? Why? Uh, 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 okay. <laughs> um. Okay. How much longer do you want to actually keep trying this? Um. I don't know. What time is it? It's uh eight twenty. All right. We'll give it. Uh. What do you think? Five more runs. Five more runs, and then maybe I can try. Sure. Okay. Alright, it doesn't count if I don't even get on Yeah, the no, it doesn't count unless you actually jump. Well, I'm still gonna count that. Just cause... Yeah. One. 
我很肥，我不希望听。啊啊啊 ！Yes！ Fuck yeah! Okay, give fuck me... your system, game. Okay, now be really careful because you can fall and just die up here. Okay, where am I going? You're going off this ledge onto this brick, All and right. then there is a doorway here on the on the right. And there's nothing over there. There's nothing over there at all. All right, excellent. Okay, now be very careful. And go up there and just very careful. Don't even touch the B button. Don't even have your, what's a B button? The B. I don't, I don't have B buttons. There are there's no, no B buttons. there's no buttons on the face of this controller. Yeah, there's just one stick. <laughs> oh my god! It does this. <laughs> okay, so you do want to loot that corpse though. It is actually a very useful item. Um, but we can also interact with Pickle P. Me, me. Um, I love it. She's so adorable. Um, so so yeah, uh, push start. See, this also really bugged me just because it's this is different from how it worked in Dark Souls 1, which is okay, so go into your inventory. Okay. Go over to your fire bombs. Okay. Select. Uh, okay. Leave, not discard. Hit yes. Because discard would... Just, yeah. And then just back out? Yeah. Uh, yeah. B. B. Okay. So, before how this worked was, you left an item, turn the game off, mm -hmm. turn the game back on, and Pickle P would have replaced the item. Here, it, you couldn't really see it, but you did leave an item on the ground. Yeah. The dialogue happens, the item imagery, sprite, I guess, maybe? Model, I don't, yeah, model doesn't change. I think it's just a particle effect. Actually. Yeah, particle effect. It doesn't move, it doesn't change, nothing happens, but the item swaps. And the little message thing. Okay, now go backwards and head left, I believe. Okay, uh, look so left. Here? Yeah. And then this way? Yes. Um, that is an invisible wall that you can uh, right bumper to attack. It is the opposite of an invisible wall. It's very visible. It's Sorry. It's not real. Yeah. Illusory. Go all the way across the bridge and just drop down. There will be a treasure, ch uh, treasure chest that won't try to kill you. And I can just drop this. You can just drop down onto that ledge. It will not kill you. Okay. And there's there's nothing else up here. Nothing else up here. There's nothing else we can get pumper on? Mm, go back in real quick. Um, into your... Yeah. Um, <laughs> you do not have anything that she wants. All right, cool. And I can only give her a firebomb once. Only once? And if you give her one, she swaps the item, and you turn the game off and come back in, the item's not there anymore that she gives you, and you can never get it ever again. Oh, sad. Yeah, so I tried to do it the way I thought it was supposed to work and lost out on, like, five amazing items. All right, because that's um, interacting with her and giving her stuff is how you get Solaire's armor. Uh, uh, other direction, behind you. So, this is the thing. So, you see the how... Chain. The chain. yeah. How it is curving back in on itself. And that it, means it's a real chest. It's safe. It also doesn't breathe. Yeah. Which, apparently, there's an... I didn't know this. There's an item you can use on Mimics that will pacify them and let you take the item from inside them. Yeah. I've seen I, people use it. I didn't know it, uh, it happened, and I sold all the ones I got and wasn't able to get any more. So, I had to spend the rest of the game fighting Mimics. Huh. Okay. So, see that window? Yeah. You're going to um, try, you can try and jump out from there to the right onto the ledge there. Uh-huh. The fall, I would Estus, but the fall should not kill you. If I fail? Yes. The fall should not kill you. Okay. By running out that window, just straight line. And just jump at the ledge. Jump at the ledge, and it'll put you, and it'll put you in a good spot. Nope. nope. Oh, well, but what... Oh, yeah, the fall didn't do... I have died on it, so I just... Yeah. So, oh, these are the thrones of the Lords of Cinder. These are the Lords of Cinder who have previ in previous eras um, uh, linked the bonfires and extended the Age of Fire. Yeah. The Holy King Lothric... Spoiler alerts. King Lothric refused to link the bonfire. And actually um, was instead linked by one of my favorite NPCs. He is in the throne to your left. He, oh, I think he's pointing up at the rafter uh, behind you, up maybe. where the Estes Shard was. I thought he was pointing out that he got up there. Mm. 
No, because I think if you look, he was pointing up right, behind you. But, up, I, but yeah. Uh, maybe. He was just doing it from an interesting spot, I think. So yeah, and this chair is one of my favorite NPCs. What left the exiled? Um, because I find his dialogue very intriguing, and his dialogue is some of the... Uh, oh, he's actually in the chair. Yeah. So one of the one of the lords of Cinder actually did come back to his throne instead of abdicating and leaving it behind. I like that. That like he says cadaver, but they put in the yeah. little apostrophe for that. I like that a lot. Um, yeah. At this point, you can only talk with him. He becomes useful for converting boss souls into weapons later. All right. So this is the one where I talk to. Yeah. To gain levels. Yeah. Yeah. Level up. Um, um, is it worth it to to crack all of my souls? Uh. Y yeah, at this point, level up as much as you can. What you should right. do is figure out how many souls you need to, like, level and then crack them, like, the minimum amount possible. Sure. I don't, I don't do that. I just crack them all at once and... Is there somebody I can sell these to? Yes. Uh, go nice... Actually, she's really not that nice of a lady. She's really actually quite creepy. Um, Fish? you give her ash of dead people and she converts it into items somehow. It's not really... I don't like her. I think she's creepy, and I think she has duplicitous uh, nature to her. She's not. She's doing something unsavory. Um, also, I like Grey Rat more. Grey Rat is... Oh, no! Someone in this world of undead and fire is doing something unsavory? What, you mean like us murdering everything that we see and pillaging their corpses? <laughs> for Maybe. And literally taking their souls and using them as currency? Yeah. I just don't trust her. You mean um, that sort of unsavory business? I do like that they turn to look at you. Mm -hmm. It makes this much more entertaining. <laughs> so they're yeah, like, you can go to the, sell items. What the fuck are you doing? Mm -hmm. And yeah, just sell all your souls. Do not sell the homeward bones. Yes. They are incredibly useful, especially right. for you who will not be going miracle. One of the reasons I favor miracles in this game is that there is a spell that just does the job of the homeward bone. Um, That's nice. Yeah. Did you sell all of them? Yeah. I thought you had another category that I maybe I just didn't see you sell because I had my hand out probably covering the screen. Um, maybe I missed it. Okay. Yeah. No, you got them. Uh, let's scroll over though. You've oh. you may have picked up some other items that just won't be useful to you. Titanite. Um. All of that's good. All of that's keepable. All. Yeah. That's your thing. You don't need a broken straight sword. Unlike the previous game. Three souls. Yes. Yeah. Um, your armor's fine to hold on to. You need to equip that ring, yes. and that seems to be. But I haven't defined. killed anything yet, so it's yeah, it, yeah. Oh, she just um, I think she says just please bring me more souls, and then does the um, what might as well be uh, trademarked post um post dialogue creepy laugh. Uh, check the drive. I noticed that you still haven't commented about how fucking well it went and how I got the ring. Yeah. And am a badass. Yeah. And am good at this game. Mm -hmm. We're both garbage at this game. <laughs> no. Okay. I, didn't so, you see me? I got the ring. I'm fucking great. Um, let's see here. Strength is completely useless to you. Got it. Um, dexterity might matter. I think some implements might have a dexterity cost. What you mostly care about is intellect. All sorceries run off pure intellect. Mm. Some variant ones will require, I think, maybe faith. Attunement is, is a gaining number, stat for me, right? It, it will give you more uh, spell slots. Ah, got it. Um, I, do, I honestly, right now, I don't think it's super important. You have pretty much your, you currently have your bread and butter ones. I think it will be, and you won't be getting more... It seems to also up my defenses a little bit. Every single level will increase um, the Got the defense, um, your defenses so just, and attack power. Got it. Yeah. Got it. So it's literally um, just 
based on whether yeah. or not I... Uh, yeah, what highlights as well. As, but yeah, your defenses almost just huh. always level up. I think some of them level them up oh, more intelligence than... intelligence just also uh, ups my my magic defense an yeah. extra bit. That makes sense. Yeah. Um, but yeah, um, basically your intelligence is your most important thing. You want to rush it um, to 40. After 40, your attributes start giving less. Mm-hmm. Um, but honestly, I would... I think intelligence is your most important. Um, endurance would be important just for dodging, but in theory, you should never be close enough to something to need to dodge it more than once, I think is basically your goal. Um, and, uh, um, Okay, so yeah. I've got enough here for six levels. That seems yeah. pretty good. Yeah, um, I would put... Yeah, I mean, everything to intelligence will just make you kill stuff quicker. Um, so you'll use less of your points. Um, so that honestly doesn't seem like a bad thing. After that, I think endurance what, what and would, vigor. What would give me more FP? FP? Yeah. Um, let's see here. Uh, let's scroll up and down and, oh, uh, it looked like... Attunement. Attunement gives you more FP. So, attunement lets me do more. Yeah. It, it will let you do more. Um... So, would it be worth it to throw a couple of points into attunement? I think so. so just to get, make, get another spell slot so you'll be able to equip the next spell you find. And then up my intelligence to I, 20? Yeah, I think that's a fine first level up. Um, I'm sure someone um, else could tell us otherwise, but seems seems legit. All right. Um, uh, you need to put the coiled sword into that oh, skull. Of put it into the skull. Yeah, I thought this was uh, weird that you couldn't do it from any angle, but I think it might just have something to do with... The animation? Yeah, where the sword gets put in. Yeah, because it is a jaunty angle. Yeah, it is. Not maximum jaunt, but jaunty enough. No, but if it was at maximum jaunt, it would look real weird. It would look so weird. Um, So, yeah. As far as I can tell, organizing your storage box is basically completely useless. As far as I'm aware, I've never... I think you can technically max out your inventory i've never done it um a tune uh, you can this is important you can swap a tune spells is swapping out your spells into your different spell slots you can do that at any bonfire hmm. so that's kind of nice this is the thing that will make your enemies tougher but gives them better drops is that right no burning an undead bone shard makes your estus um stronger it makes oh, okay. it heal for more um, speaking of Estus, we want to go down this tunnel on the left, just straight to the blacksmith. All right. He is able, so right now you have three uses Whee! of your orange one and one use of your blue one. You can modulate that. Yeah. Um, but the first thing we want to do is reinforce your Estus blast because that was the item that you picked up off the rafters. Yes. Which, yeah, so yes, and immediate and that, other use now and then go up to a lot, Estus. And you I can, see. I can think th- three and two. I think three and two is fine. Um, I uh, again, I've never really done heavy spell casting, so I don't really know how. We'll find out. Yeah, you'll find out. We can get a, you can get a feel for what you like. There are currently no, all this area fills up with NPCs as you find them. Okay, so where do where do I go to continue this game? Um, to the bonfire. I think we're good. Yeah, you go to the bonfire and you travel. All right. Um, there um, are we've one only got one hundred and thirty-seven souls. Yeah, so that's negligible. That's two enemies. That's killing two enemies. Right. Wait, did we equip the ring? Yes. Okay, I couldn't remember. Um, so High Wall of Lothric is the only place you can go. Cool. Um, now let me and now let me think. Oh, you are. Uh, I'm sure you'll be fine. You are just technically now currently uh, invadable. Oh. But there and there are people. Who stay at minimum level, run around, dodging, grab all the the best equipment you can get, come back to the starting area and and smurf. Yeah. But whatever. Um, this I think that is one of my complaints. I think because as far as I'm aware, um, so in Dark Souls one, you you in you had your humanity, it made you human. Humanity did that. In this, you have embers, which are kind of the like equivalent. In Dark Souls 1, you could farm humanity. There was, in theory, a limitless supply of humanity. Yeah. In this game, as far as I'm aware, there is a limited number of embers in the entire game. That's super weird. It is. I could be wrong. 
there, you could, I think there might be a point to where you can open up a limitless amount of ember. Or if you do, you have to do it by invading other people. I'm not sure. Um, there's another bonfire at the bottom of these steps. This area is safe until this bonfire. Right. Don't I have to rekindle myself in order to be able to be invaded? Yes. So I'm... So if you, if you die, you will lose your ember, you will lose a little bit of your max HP, and then you will not be able to be invaded. There are very few moments where being oh, was embered... Oh, was I rekindled at some you, point? When you killed, uh, um, Gundir. God. Gundir. Whenever you, basically, whenever you kill a boss, you get a free... You get a free ember and uh, okay. you automatically use it. So that's why well, that's why he. That's why and that's why you're glowing. Yeah, and which that's... I particularly like. I think it's a very nice aesthetic that you are a kindled ash because yeah. that's that's what you are. You are someone who at some point tried to kindle the bonfire and was not strong enough. Your um, you burnt out essentially. And they left your ash in the graveyard. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so this is the way to really go forward, but there are some nice items behind us. And an item that I think... Behind us this way? Yes, but first, go back up. Uh, along the wall, uh, there's a little opening where there's a douche canoe with a crossbow that would shoot you if you went down the stairs. Um, behind you. Like, behind you, on, on the outer wall parapets. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Go, go straight. I don't know. A little bit left. See where that rubble is? There's a little ledge here. Oh, over you... here. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, sorry. Get also, set. um, okay, you're gonna have to kill some dogs. No. Well, then you have to let the dogs kill you. No. Well, then I can't help you. No. <laughs> um, but essentially you can go out onto that guy's ledge. Eventually the half of the dogs will bring one below you and you can just drop it back on it. I got it. Um, then there's another dog who will eventually come. Oh, actually with your magic, you could just shoot them from the ledge once they get into range. That that seems kinder. Okay. So uh, I just... Ro stand. Yeah, rotate your weapon. Uh, look, yeah, there he is. He'll, you can, I mean, you can try and shoot him or you can just wait for him to get close enough to lock on. He'll perk up once he, yeah. Lock on. There, there you go. I, let's see. What, what's he doing? Oh, he's just hanging out under you? Yep. I don't know if you uh, can shoot him. Let's find out. Nope. Nope. Not even close. Yeah. If geometry kind of breaks the camera... Oh, now there's two of them. You might be able to drop attack both of them. Wait, did one... Whoop. That one just teleported. I think he tried to... I think he may have tried to find the path. Maybe. Like, I think he just... Um, um, no. I'm just saying, don't be... I think there, he's behind you. Oh, hi! Yeah. I wasn't sure. I was like, did he find the path? I've never seen them find the path. There you go. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Didn't work. Like, nice. I did the thing, but he didn't yeah. die. Uh, yeah, you may have just landed on him. And people say dogs in Souls games are hard. They're <laughs> gregarious. <laughs> they talk a lot? I might be using the wrong word. What's... Anyway. Um, this guy, is that the guy with the halberd? Yeah. Oh. I would just kill him with magic. Oh. He... Oh, God. He's running away. Oh, okay. Uh, lock on and stab yep. him in the back. Or just I go stabbed him shit. in the front. It didn't work. No. Okay. I've never seen him get hit by magic before. I would have expected it to deal more damage. Maybe swap to your... Um, heavy soul arrow? Your heavy soul arrow. Yeah. A lot of what you're going to be doing is just very slowly killing stuff, backing away, getting to a point where they can't hit you, shoot them with magic. Mm -hmm. Um... Or... I yeah. got a Titan shirt. Nice! Yeah, god, that high luck is going to be useful. Um, yeah, that actually means you'll be able to reinforce... You can now do a, fr a first-level reinforcement on your implement. Um, because the blacksmith also makes your magic weapons better. It seems like I can just... Almost. Yep, he found you. Yes, he did. Sort of? He's clump. He's hung up on geometry. 
Careful, he's gonna eventually get to you. I think. Maybe. He, nope, he got dumb and lost you, and now he found you. <clears throat> Poor, confused, dumb dog. Poor dog. So sad. Okay. Um, but yeah, I think with the guy with the halberd, you want to shoot him, get his attention. I don't know why that happened. Oh, where, where's he go? Where are you going? Where are you going, Doug? Where are you? Where'd he go? He, I think uh, he's underneath you. I thought so. But, like, I was trying to find him. And I don't... He's not becoming targetable. No. Did he lose sight of you and go back to his path? Maybe. No, no I can hear him. I just don't know where he is. Oh, there he is. You see he's him? yeah, oh, he's yeah. on the steps. You could probably drop attack him from the right. Uh, if you immediately change the camera angle. Yeah. Okay. Can you lock onto him from there? No. No. Okay. There you go. Yeah. Uh, fuck it. We'll give it a shot. Yeah. Um, hmm, but your soul... I mean, you don't have... You didn't have that many souls. No. So, yeah, no. you don't care. Everyone just had the souls from the two dogs. Yeah. And a crossbowman. Um, he left. Where is he now? Oh, he's... He's on the steps. Yeah, he's he, just they, So, in. basically, they, um... Mobs have a... Um, a... They don't know where the fuck you are. They're walking their path. They're just doing what they are passively do. They have a... They... They are aware of you, but they don't know what to do with you, which is, I think, kind of what he was doing. He was looking at you, but he wasn't aggroed on you. Um, okay, be aware. You could totally drop attack that guy. The guy on the um, wall with the fire might wake up. And you might be fighting two people at once. Okay. Um, but that was the same guy I fought earlier, right? No, that no. is a guy with an axe. Oh, That's I a see. guy with a halberd. There you are. So, yeah. Oh, what? He may have been out of range. Or he just... No, I or think he, he listed lazily... Whoosh. Whoosh. Ah, got him. Nice. Wait, was oh, that a shit. headshot? Um, no, it was just heavy soul arrow. Roll! And roll upstairs. Um, yeah. Yeah. It, I... You got him? Nope. Well, at least your souls will probably be up here. Yep. Nope, because I accidentally hit X yeah. because I so, still expect face buttons to do mm -hmm. things. So, when you're running away, it is um, typically better to have the camera facing behind you and mm. try and navigate the geometry. Um, just because then at least you can that see when you oh. Did the same thing I always do. Yeah, you hit the X button because that's usually the do action button on most controllers, and because or, I expect face buttons to do something. Yeah, often. And I know what the B button does, and I know what the A button does. I so do, it's yeah. just like obviously it's X, right? Because that's the other one. Y is always a special thing because it's the furthest away. Yeah, and X is one of the more comfortable ones to do stuff on. Right, there's three. Yeah. It's X, A, and B, because we're on an Xbox controller. Yeah. And I know what A and B do, so obviously it's X, except it's right. not X, it's um, R1. Coming back to Dark Souls, after having played uh, Breath of the Wild, completely fucked with me, because on the Wii, control, Wii U controller layout, X is swing, is swing weapon. Mm -hmm. And I completely just... Got those mixed up. Um. Uh, maybe walk out on the stairs and try and shoot him from there. Like over here? Yeah. Oh, all right. Chair. Huh. We need to have a talk. Where'd he go? Um, I don't know. Did he go back to his right? Maybe. Yeah, it looks like it. Dang it. Uh, well, no, there's only one there. Um, I don't know where the dog went. 
It's probably fine. Yeah, what could go wrong? It's probably fine. I don't, honestly don't know where the fucking dog went. Like, an hour later, we're fighting the boss. Dog falls out of the sky. sky drop attacks, attacks you. Attacks the boss. <laughs> dog is friend now. Friend dog. No, friend forever. There are no friend dogs. No. Um, but yeah, basically up on there is a decently hard, in, um, decently hard enemy. It's like a mini version of the second half of Udyr. Um, and... This is a bad idea. Look at you. Oh, God. Oh, well, that... Yeah. That works. Okay, I think he sees you. Yep. Or he is aware. No, he just... He became aware of you. Okay, soul arrow. Oh, God! Aw, oh, so close. Yep. Um... Let me think. Yeah. And roll. There you go. Get some poise, Way motherfucker. To, yeah. <laughs> Way to ape shit attack. <laughs> that, I mean, the, the eternal, works. the eternal struggle of Dark Souls is. Oh, I guess the enemy just gets to ape shit attack me and stun lock me into oblivion, and then you immediately. I uh, found the dog. He dead. I don't know why he dead, but he dead. Is there? Where's the other dog body? Because there's two dogs, right? Was that the one? That's the one we killed, so where's the second one? Oh, right, I killed him down here this time. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, no, 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 I still So don't you know. don't actually care about going down. Uh oh, the guy with the axe sees you, by the way. <laughs> yeah, they, they just I do see this. you peeping. And then if you, if you don't do anything, they'll. Okay, yeah, he's aware of you. He's gonna come after you. Yeah. I was and just killing that fire. guy threateningly. Oh, you motherfuckers bastard. didn't commit. You bastard. Why okay. can't I lock on? Okay, there we go. Goodbye. Not goodbye enough. Alright. Yeah, that's fine. There you go. Look at you. Um, okay. I can uh, I can dark a souls. Yeah. Um I think as far as I'm aware, in this area, none of the statues come up come alive and kill you. Alright, that's good. Um, so don't worry about the statues. Um, so the, what the thing we're going to go fight is up here, I would recommend using your blue Estus. Because after this, we're going to go back the way we came past the bonfire and you'll be able to refill. Nice. Okay. Okay. So kill the guy with the crossbow. There's a guy with a crossbow. Thanks. <laughs> and then <laughs> one of the fuckers is going to wake up, go ape shit, and which, kill everyone else. Which, which one? The naked one right there. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, this is bad. And, yeah, that guy. He's gonna go ape shit. Wait, did he not go ape shit? Or... He didn't go ape shit. Nope. He... A... Yeah, that was him. That's why he exploded like yep, that. Yep, he did. We good. I'm really curious. Well, yeah, but you only get the good item out of him if he goes ape shit. Oh. Uh, so yeah, see? You... You... What? You stabbed him, like, between the pelvic bone there. Or at least that guy between the pelvic bone. The other guy stabbed right in the spine. Yeah, maybe it's... Yeah, it's... Because I could have sworn... Because like, these are the same things that you fought in the graveyard. Uh-huh. So I just... I, I think I was just much higher up on the geometry. Maybe that was it. It was a shift in geometry. Um, okay. Yep, way to check all the nooks and crannies. Um, can you go up the stairs? You can't go up those stairs. I can go this far up the stairs? Yeah. Um, I dropped for a second and I was like, oh god, don't tell me I'm stuck. I have only ever been stuck in geometry once in this game. I got out, but it was weird. I also thought this was interesting. that This is up here and there's it's there and stuff, and but there's nothing to really interact with it. Um, but yeah, all these are dead. Okay, yeah. So Is we, it is it worth... Uh, coming back here, um, trying it's to a, make it's him a, go ape shit. It's a Titanite item. shard and I... an ember, so not entirely. Um, it not uh, entirely worth it. Not or... entirely worth it. Not for this one playthrough. Okay. Um, that like we'll do this session and then 
almost certainly never come back to it. Yeah, we might. We might. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Rest of the bonfire. And now you're going to go down the other stairs. You don't need to worry about killing the crossbow guy. So, okay. Real quick. What you're going to do. You're going to go down to this area. You're going to ignore that item. On the opposite side, there's going to be a dude that's going to come, that will come into you from the right. Okay. And he's going to try and attack you. You're going to ignore him. You're going to okay. run right past him. You're going to go down the stairs. There's going to be a guy on there with a lantern. Am I going to ignore him? No. You're going to stab the fuck out of him. All because right. what he does is wake everyone else up. All right. So I think I've got this. I go down this way. Yep. Go right past here. Find mm-hmm. the guy with the lantern and stab him. On the stairs. Moving. Those stairs that go down. Yeah. Um, there will be another guy on the stairs. Don't worry about him. You're going to... Uh, and... Run. Down those stairs. Those stairs. Those oh, stairs. These stairs. Yeah. Kill that guy. Okay. Now turn around. The guy with the sword is coming after you. Oh, God. I thought he was dead. Yeah. That guy. Yeah. The other guy on the stairs wouldn't have, uh, would not have attacked you if you didn't engage him. Ooh, yeah. More fire bombs. I just thought I could kill him really yeah. quick. Yeah. And now everybody, no one else is going to hurt you. You can go for those items. I usually leave these people alone. They're, they're not in their senses they've gone about as hollow as you can go so oh and this was actually what i was talking about with the trees um see let's see if there's one around here that dragon's dead don't worry about it um oh though you did remind me of a spot you can go which is up those stairs which i'm trying to remember who is up there i don't think a guy that goes ape shit is up there um do you want to practice this again and just go re um uh, fill your health, or do you just want to use an Estus Flask? It shouldn't matter. Um, we'll just use an Estus Flask. Okay. Um, so now let me think. What's next? All right, only one of those guys dropped an item. Yeah. Um, and it was just a couple of souls. Okay. Uh, there is a, that guy with the lantern. Go fuck his shit up. Fucking his shit up. Because, yeah, that's what he does. He wakes all these other guys up, they get up, and then you're surrounded. Otherwise, they yeah, you can kill them all one at a time. Yeah, he has he has armor, so he took a little more. Yep. Uh oh. Oh, that guy was not was just sleeping apparently. Well, I think you hit both. You accidentally hit both of them with one swing. I thought he was dead. Oh yeah, no. (laughs) So I was just kind of ignoring him. (laughs) Dead corpses. Um. So yeah, if you drop down here, you can get to an item. Okay. Um. That's up in a window. I don't remember it being a particularly important item, but it can I think it can be one it can be useful in a boss fight. Um I think this is where you That's get right. your yeah, I think this is where you get yeah, gold pine resin. It's that makes my weapon lightning y. Yeah, which makes you very good against boss. Um yeah. There's two guys in this room. There's this guy on the floor. You can kill him without aggroing the other guy. Um and then there's that guy, there's a guy behind those crates. So yeah. I see. He, his point is to come out and sneak attack you if you go and get greedy and grab the item. I think. Let me just be really stealthy here. <laughs> right. Dark Souls. Dark Souls 3. Oh, uh, you can block magic with a shield. Yeah. Good to know. Ow. All right. Um, I think we could probably get you to the next bonfire without much trouble. Okay. Um, let me, uh, let me, oh, wait, no, you have to fight a knight. I would recommend going, going back? and healing back. Yeah. All right. The knight is, I think we can run past him to get to the next bonfire and ignore him, but he's definitely going to be, I would argue, even, uh, the hardest thing you've fought so far. All right. Um. Is this guy a corpse? Nope. If they're well, yes, he is a corpse. Okay, but... well, yeah. If they if they are if they're not floppable, generally, if they're not ragdoll, I they're... couldn't tell if he was yeah. or not mm. because the ragdolls do weird things in this game. Yeah. Um. There you go. There we go. So yeah, second verse, same as the first. Ignore the guy on the right. Kill the dude on the stairs. <laughs> yeah. Now turn around. Yeah. 
got there. Yep. Okay. Now, yeah, we you don't have to kill these guys every time. No, I don't have to. But they give me thirty-three souls. They give me a negligible number of souls every time. <laughs> Is it worth the blood on your hands? Uh, yeah. That blood gets on everything. Yeah, it does actually. Um, there are some really gross enemies when you if you see it splatter on the ground, it will also splatter on you. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it's gross. You don't need to go up here and fight these guys. Like there, okay. there's nothing up there anymore. Um, yeah. I feel absolutely no reason not to do that. No, there is absolutely no reason not to do it. And it's, it's good to get the practice of where do I need to be behind a person to do it. Um, oh, hey, the boxes didn't respawn. Hey, Q, you're, you're super stealthy there. Yeah. What with your uh, mm -hmm. being entirely exposed. <laughs> so that's the difference between soul arrow and heavy soul arrow. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, dexterity does increase or decrease your casting time negligibly from what I have been told. Okay. But it does. And I guess, I guess can be useful. Uh, next thing we're doing is going down the ladder. Um, that ladder? Yeah. The, I, as I recall, there is not an enemy at the bottom. There is an item. There's an enemy at the bottom of this and no item. Hold on. I want to try to kick this guy's corpse. Down the hole? Down the hole. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. And you can hold B to just slide. Okay. Oh, B and down. Oh, yeah. B and down? Okay. Um... Uh, this, unlike Dark Souls 1, they don't do a lot of just hiding shit in crates. Ah. Uh, there are, like, there are no lizards in crates anymore, as far as I've n noticed. Um, okay, so, look out this door. That guy? Yeah, there's that, that guy? guy, but there's also a guy with a spear on the left. Now, what we are going to do, and possibly going to die, get out your, uh, get out your sword, or dagger, whatever it is. Really? You're going to haul ass... Up the stairs. Slightly okay. to the left is going to be a little doorway. Run into that doorway, immediately about face, and be ready to kill people that are on fire running at you. Because a dragon's gonna show up. Okay, this is the dragon bridge. <laughs> this is the dragon bridge. Alright, sure. So, okay, ready, set, and go. Run, 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 run. Roll. Oh, I guess, yeah. Keep going, keep going. Doorway on the left. Roll. Okay, they got... Okay. There we go. Okay. That dragon does not do enough damage. It does enough. There were a lot of guys out there. Yeah. Okay, right. don't go back out there. He'll light fire again. Okay, but we can't open this gate. Okay, there's no, like, there's no chance for me to run. You could probably survive. Okay, there's a room. There is a mimic in here, but he has an item you don't care about. It's, a, it. it's an axe. You just don't care about it. I, I doubt you'd even be able to wield it. Um, uh, but yeah, you can jump across there. You can walk down and do the stairs, whichever you want to try and do. I reckon, yeah. Well. Yeah. But yeah, um, over there, chest, you can see the chain is facing the wrong direction. Um, yeah, just to... Yeah, and there's a message there probably saying monster. Tough enemy to head, yeah. They're, they're pretty I want to see if I can rude. see it breathe. Yep, Ever there it goes. so slightly it breathes. I've seen some um, fan art for, or maybe it was concept art, I don't know which, of alternative mimics. One of which was actually kind of apl applicable here, where the ladder is a tongue. Yeah, and at the, at the top is a mimic that will or pull you up and chomp you. <laughs> um, and I think there was maybe one or two other ones. Uh, but are, are we doing this? Can he climb ladders? No. Can I climb ladders fast? Probably fast enough. Okay. I don't know. If I don't think it landed. Oh, All you right. could shoot him from up here, though. Oh, good point. <laughs> I didn't think about it either. That dragon's angry. Nope, not 
I'm facing the right way. Nope. I should uh, use this. Soul arrow? Yeah. Regular soul arrow to... Okay. To find range. Okay. No. Ugh, come on. It really yeah. does not want to go. Oh, so close. I think I can get it. There you Yay. go. It's so negligible. <laughs> Alright, fuck this. Yeah. Goodbye. Are you going to try drop attacking him or? No, I'm just okay. leaving. But I yeah, he has, he, as far as I'm aware, he has no way to hit you unless he somehow clips through the ge geography with a jump spinning uh, windmill kick. Clipping through the geography is when you clip through so much geometry, you end up in a different country. Yep. Um, okay, so yeah, there's this knight. If you hold back here, he should just walk down the path on the right, and you should just be able to ignore him. All right. Um, then you can just run through. There's a staircase on the left that leads to a bonfire. I forgot about that guy, but it's fine. Oh, God. But, yeah, you just run uh, right and up those stairs through the door. Do I not care about that I am? Not right now. All right. Because you can come, just come back to it um, after. I got 33 souls somehow. Some sh poor schmuck fell to his death. Yeah. These are the kind of roguish ones. They have a dagger. They're pretty sneaky, and they have throwing knives. You'll you'll uh, you'll see him again when you uh, get back down yep. onto that level, and now you don't have to interact with that knight unless you want to. Um, um, I mean, we just rested. Yeah, I say fuck it, let's kill it. Um, oh, so this is what I was talking about. So we've you, seen a bunch of these. Yeah, but yeah, but um, I just never thought about it. When I saw it. So the, I, my theory with this is is basically we saw those hollows praying and reverence and not moving. I think these were hollows that were doing that, and they were there for so long and were so oblivious, trees grew up through them. Interesting idea. Yeah. I think that they kind of are the trees, because if you look, the legs are super long. They are, and, and I just, like, I, yeah. The, the legs are super long and, like, woody. Yeah, it's just, I think, I'm curious if it's just kind of, like, a similar texture, but it is a different color. Yeah. But it's still really... Well, but, like, even yeah. that branch, mm -hmm. like, that main trunk is very clearly where their loincloth was. Yeah. Um, it's... Yeah, I, I just still think it's a very uh, compelling visual either way. Um... I want to shoot that with an arrow. Um... Uh, I don't know if we can buy a bow and arrow yet. We have a bow and arrow. We do? Yeah. I didn't think... Oh, did we pick one up? Yeah. Oh, okay, I must have missed it. Um... Over near the dead dragon, I think. Mm. Oh, I we, can't equip it. No, you need more strength and more dex. Um, two more, uh, two more strength. Uh, where are we? At? Yeah, two more strength and two more dex, which that's four levels. That's not awful, and that will, for the purposes of purpose of a bow, service you for quite a while. Hey, look at thing. Yeah. Another tech knight shard. Cool. All right. So where do? Uh, I guess we go back to the we, knight. Uh, yeah, we go back knight. downstairs, but you do not have to fight the knight if you want to. Basically, if you, you'll go in, you'll he walks out that door. He doesn't see you. There is, however, the... Okay, yeah, you're now fighting two guys at once. The oh, ring. I see. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, at least now you're up here, but I think the rogue's going to come up too. Could not move in time. He will go as many as three attacks in a row. Um, and if he two hands, he will do. He does a, a rushing thrust attack. Um, he does have a. The weird things with knights is, is you do not have to be directly behind them to backstab them. It's actually like an angle like behind the shoulder. Okay. Is yeah, so if you if that's what you want to try and go for. And Okay. Nice. Yeah. 
having good nice yeah your light weight and um light weapon definitely helps with making a lot of attacks in rapid succession yeah. Which I've, from what I have found, this game does. Oh, it, uh, he hey. finally found his way up. Hey, I'm here. I'm, I'm oh here God, for the fight. Are, are we, are, I was about to say, right. were you no. really about to die to the scrub rogue after we just won, uh, one shot the knight? I don't think we can say we one shot him. I mean, oh, you did not die. Yes, but it took more than one hit. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, again, like, if you just wait, the knight goes out the gate, doesn't give a fuck about you, and you kill this rogue because you do kind of have to kill him without him chasing you. There we go. Yeah. Nope. No, it's still the wrong button. That button will never be right. Nope. Ah. All right. I'm just going to do that again. Yeah. The bonfires right here. Yeah. You can go grab that item if you want. Nothing sure. bad happens. Fire firebombs. They're use again. They're useful against the hollows that explode out into Iker, which we will get to in a little bit. Um, it this way. Yeah. Um, it's after there's so you go down, you kill this rogue. You'll go downstairs, and there's two more of them. Um, one you can very easily drop attack onto. One gets up off the ground, and you can very easily fight him. And then that will take you out onto one of the roofs. I'm curious. Never mind. Okay. I was going to see how much the heavy soul arrow did to him. Mm. But... Oh, if you shot him in the back? Yeah. But he's too quick. Yeah. He's, he's meant to get out of your way very quickly, I think, so you don't have to wait. wait. Ooh, Throwing down. knives. Yeah. They, they can be useful for... They're not particularly useful to you because... What they're useful for is getting one enemy to come at you at a time to but aggro I can just them. Do that with my arrow. Yeah, you want to do that with your arrow and then kill them from a distance. Oh, but, um, and you want to deal as much damage up front as possible. Okay, so if I. Yep. Now, those barrels in the middle do explode, but only when exposed to fire. Okay. Um, which is one of the downsides so if I just of. Do this. Yeah, and you could even hit them. Like, it is literally only, uh, like, if you go... And I don't even have any fire at this point. No, but if you had, like, thrown a firebomb and <laughs> just made it all explode... That could be fun. Yeah. Okay. Um, maybe I should have gone pyromancy. Maybe. We do not want to go down that ladder yet. We don't okay. have a reason to. Okay. Um, it's, that is where we eventually get Grey Rat, the, our very lovable um, thief. But we can't do that yet. We can't unlock his cell door until we get his key. So, and you can't even interact with him through the bars until you get the key. Okay. Um, there is, yeah. Okay, so this is how it's going to work. You're going to go up the ladder and up on the, these, you parapet. Is that what those are called? Parapets? Yeah. Okay, on the parapets on the right. Oh, he came up early. Interesting. Um, yeah, shoot him. Um, just kill him. The, uh, Okay, but basically there's a guy hanging from the parapet on the right that you can just run up, swing at the parapet, and he falls to his death. Um, it's the one right in the middle. See the hands? Oh, yes, yeah. I do. Yeah, so the idea is that you go up, the guy comes up the ladder, you start fighting him, this guy comes in and flanks you. Yep. And you get three souls. Okay. Um, Speaking of three souls. Oh, I just feel bad killing these things. I don't. Like... Like, I have no problem killing the ones that are trying to kill you. That's just self-defense. Oh, that guy gave me 39. Bad. Hmm? Never feel bad. Okay. I'm with Ivani. I don't okay. feel bad at all. Uh, look up on the roof. Over here. Okay. Let's see if I can spot him. It's one of these guys. I Is think it it's that, that one. the naked man that's standing up? Yeah. Can I shoot him from here? You could try. Mm, it doesn't look like it goes that far. You gotta change your body. Yeah. Oh god, that's weird. Careful off. not to walk off. Yeah. Um, he doesn't explode until you get about close to the item, so you could go down. Yeah, that's um, not gonna work. All right. Okay. So, yeah, it, uh, none of these other guys will aggro you. It's that. Is it that one? I 
think it's that one, or I'll I mean, know he's better. He's the guy that looks different. So. Yeah. Well. Yeah, it's that one. It's that guy. He'll erupt it when you get closer to him. Um, will he now? Oh, yes, he will. God, yes, he run will. Run up the ladder. Run up the ladder. Run up the ladder. He can't climb the ladder, and you can shoot him. You can push B, and you will climb a little quicker. Oh, okay. A little quicker. Oops. This one. Yeah. Heavy soul arrow, that shit. Um, nope. Apparently, he's walking away. I think you hit him. No. Oh, God. He's so fast. Yeah. And he just ape shits. Yeah, he just does that. He just berserks. Yes. Yeah. I was not expecting him to be that fast. Mm. Cause I was not expecting him to be able to close that distance yeah. in like literal zero mm -hmm. time. And also, unlike Dark Souls One, where when you defeat a hard, uh, uh, okay. hard enemy, good. they don't respawn. There are very few of those in this game. Okay. Every almost everything respawns. Which is kind of nice, and that, that means that if one of them has a, dec a decent drop, you have more opportunities to get that drop. Mm -hmm. It is also super annoying when they are impeding your path to progression, and you have to keep fighting them. <laughs> this knight got me so many fucking times. Aw, I rolled. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn everything. It's cool. You're fine. Everything's cool. Everything's frosty. Um, and your souls do not despawn if you go back to the bonfire. Yes. They only despawn if you die. Which is nice for moments like that where, like, yeah. ah, damn it, I screwed I up. I fucked up. Yeah, Let me just I just completely Mulligan. Up. Mulligan. Yeah, Mulligan. Which is, yeah, which is, uh, I think we've said it before. Dark Souls is hard. It is not punishing. Yep. You have infinite lives. And they even built that into the, the lore. Yeah. You are undead. And I also love the idea of your character in theory, like the or uh, thematically, your character in Dark Souls One hollows every time you rage quit. If you say "fuck it, I'm done, I can't deal with this anymore, I'm I'm putting this game away," that is your character hollowing, going full hollow. Yeah. Though so that is um, that is Fanon. Yeah. Ooh, Rajim. Um. Weren't you saying those are good? Uh, yeah, they're actually very good. Basically, what they do is they decrease the um, ability score scaling on weapons, but, but drastically. In, yeah. So yeah, if you run up and attack the guy on the uh, uh, parapet, you'll kill him before the guy. <laughs> yeah, and then he comes up. Yeah. Don't get fancy, Mash R1. <laughs> oh, right in the mommy daddy button. Is that something Cameron says? I I guess that, but <laughs> is your penis inside of your butt? I mean, <laughs> I think if you stabbed Just enough wondering. through my butt, you'd eventually get there. It kind of depends on what angle through which you it through the butt. All right. The kindness here uh, is that. Since I got run up on, mm -hmm. unrelated, this dragon has a sick mustache. Yeah. <laughs> just want to point that out. Well, technically it's a drake, but whatever. Dragons are extinct. Well, yeah. Uh, I mean, you say that. In what <laughs> the in-game lore considers a dragon. Yeah, it's hard to shoot him because he has stupid bodies to block for him. Yeah, it's super awkward. You can do a little bit better job with the, um... Nice. Ha! <laughs> nope, he woke up. And uh, when he fuck. wakes up, he goes to full health. Yeah. I don't, and I don't <sighs> think he ever recedes. Okay. Okay. No, but what I... You want to aggro I'm, him and then run up the stairs? Yes. Or run up the ladder? Okay. But I need to actually aggro him. 
and you aggroed him. Run, 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 run. Yeah, that always... Oh! Whoa! Yeah, Hi! No. Okay, yeah. I guess he's here. Get magic punch. And this is how you beat Dark Souls. You <laughs> aggro an enemy, you bring them to the end of their chain, they walk back, and you shoot them in the ass. Yep. Alright. And yeah, and now that he erupted, you get a Titanite Shard and an Ember. He will not give you those um, every uh, time, though. He Like, if you die, come back to him, he will erupt again, but you will not get those drops. Uh, on the will other he, side... Will he never give those drops again? Never again. Huh, he might give Titanite again, but he will never give an Ember again. Yep. Oops. Um, surprise, he didn't get killed. Um, okay, on your right, you'll find your first um, Crystal Lizard. Uh, he's just on the other side of that little window roofing. What do I do about that? You just run up and you lock on and you kill him. Or you can, if you get it, angle it right and don't let him see you, you can do a little drop attack from the top of that. From the top of this thing over here? Yeah. Uh, that seems like it's going to result in me just falling off the edge of that. He's, he's closer to off than the, from the edge of the roof than you think. Oh, I see. He's over here. Okay. Yeah. All right. I was expecting him to be like. Over no, here. no, no, no. He will, however, run around that corner. All right. Can you lock on? Yeah. Yep. Drop attack his ass. There you go. Sweet. A raw gem. Um, that and... gem is so raw. Yeah. Um, and then okay. there is. Anything useful over here? Um, not that I ever recall. There is a platform where we can start heading to get the key. Grey Rat's key. Okay. If we want to try. Um, I mean, I, I own... What are my options? Like... Uh, uh, going what's down... What's that guy? He's a big motherfucker that if we want, we could probably shoot. You don't want to shoot from up here. You have a better vantage point down. Okay. Um, the main thing is that right around that corner, guy with a crossbow. Got it. The more important thing... Is right further down the uh, corner uh -huh. at the end is another guy with a crossbow. <laughs> I see. And the other thing is that that guy, the guy, the other other guy with the crossbow, or the other guy with the crossbow, uh -huh. has two dudes hanging onto the thing. So if you run up to try and melee him, he, they come up. Got it. So do what you've been doing and shoot him. Yeah, he's already trying to shoot you. This is I'm the just, way towards the key. This I is was the mostly way. making sure yeah. that no that one was gonna. Run, up, come up behind you. Yep. Oh, oh well, I'm out. That would have been super embarrassing. <laughs> yep, good thing I didn't do that. Ah, uh, hmm. Now that we see how much it fills up, we might want to... Oh, nice. Ha! Uh, but yeah, there's Multiple one badge. right there, and there's one straight back there. Oh, I see the one straight... Okay, I see them both. I think the one straight... Back, oh no, that one's the one you worry about more. He had armor and a real sword. Um, whereas this guy, no armor, broken sword. That's weird. What? It the, made the... the... When he jumped down... I mean, obviously there was some glitchy because yeah. I, was, I was here. But it made the attack noise and it made the noise like like it hit me. Mm. But I didn't lose any health. Huh. And it didn't animate. No. Even though the controller vibrated um, like it hit me. So now I think... If you... Oh, oh shit, shit, where... I do not know where he came from. Uh, Okay. I do not where, know how he got there. Did he come up the ladder? I don't know. There are some guys at the bottom of the ladder. Are you the dog? Is he the dog? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, okay. So, real quick. there. Uh, I think if I recall, there were some guys hanging on that fence. But this was a <laughs> moment where I... So, you know, there are covenants uh, in this game <laughs> where you can essentially <laughs> pick a... Yeah. Look, yeah. That guy's not hanging on the fence. No, he's not. He's hanging off well, of the I fence. Well, I mean, if you get if you look at the way that the um your character is holding a shield, it doesn't actually make sense for how you actually hold a shield. But no, anyway. but no, but that guy is like yeah, up, he's is like three, three feet, feet away from it. Yeah, just hovering in the air. You know what? That, that man has the most serious case of hover hand I have ever seen. But you know what? Yes, but I'm sure if you were down there and looking at him, it would look fine. Point is, uh, <laughs> so there, you know how there are basically covenants or teams you can join in this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I joined a team that summons you to people who want help when they're getting invaded. Yeah, it's the blue whatever. Yeah, the blue sentinels. 
Um, I joined them. Shoot this guy from up here? You should be able to. And I've never like... seen him go down there before. Um, save one of those black fire bombs if you want to. Alright. Um, you can give him the pickle pea for stuff. Oh, yes, definitely. I like yeah, pickle pea. I do too. Push A. Get that item. Yeah. I, yeah, as far as I'm aware, he has no way to... You might have to wait and, un, until he un yeah, the, and Yeah, the lock left. Yeah, the lock kind of leaves if you kind if you uh, lose camera geography. There we go. Or camera, line of sight from the camera will cause... Even the, though I can hit him yeah. from here. The... I think it's because he gets under that roofing. Yeah, but like even when yeah. he's under the roofing, I can still hit him. Because the um, mm -hmm. the origin point for the hitbox actually yeah. sticks out a little bit. Mm -hmm. Luckily, this guy doesn't regen health or anything. No. Oh come on! What? Why what? did that even happen? Did he walk out of? I guess maybe he walked out of the range. Maybe, but like, why are my soul arrows suddenly affected by gravity? Mm -hmm. I think uh, I honestly don't know. I think it's the idea that it because it lost the lock. I wonder if you could. I don't think. You there. I don't know if you can jump through those branches. There's a, a, an item ledge down there, which is a shortcut that will open in a moment. Okay. Yeah. Maybe you should have swapped the heavy soul arrow. Maybe. Yeah. Okay. But now, don't, yeah, you don't want to drop down from there. We, we, we want to go down the ladder and kill the guy with hover hand. Alright. Um, and That's I'll, just fun. Okay. Go down. H odds are Hover Hands is going to get over the ledge before you have a chance to stop him. Nope. You got him. Yeah. Uh, no, because... He's still down here. Yeah, but... He was the dog. Yeah. That was yeah, the dog. That was the dog. Um, there is one... One, two, three... Five more... Eight enemies between you and a shortcut. They're all pretty simple. Um... And technically, one of them isn't actually between you. These are all dead. Okay. Um, as you can tell, red versus blue showed up here. Cross, you, uh, cross universe crossover. It Looks was like uh, blue won. Um, no, because you find red guys. Yeah, it's... and they're all dead. Well, that red, me... red team won, but there were more casualties okay. on their side. Because <laughs> so... typically, if I go to a battlefield and I see a bunch of corpses that all have the same flag on them, I assume that yeah. team lost. Nope. Um, so you can go down there for that item. That guy will wake up. The one, okay. the gl the one lit up. Yeah. Which is a theme. They illuminate the, the ones that wake up. Well, yeah, because... Yeah, just go up and stab it. Um, I would also recommend swapping over to your orange justice flask, just because the blue one isn't doing anything for you. Yeah. Oh, a rapier! You'll act. I think you'll like that. Actually, see if okay. you can wield it, because I think you'll. That's not the button I wanted to press. No, nope. that happens. Um, That's also not the button. This is the button. Yeah. Um, and then yeah. I do this. Yeah, you can totally wield it, and I think it will deal more damage. Check. Uh, um, go. Uh, yeah, it deals more damage. Um. And I think you'll like the weapon a little bit more. It has a bit more range, and the move sets are more straightforward. Um, I do need to change up my equipment though, because that put me above thirty. Ah, um, let's see. You don't want to get rid of that. Unfortunately, there's not something you really want to get rid of right now. Can you I could just... you could just lose the gloves because, as we you have shown, you don't want to absorb damage. You just want to avoid it outright. Yep. So I think getting rid of the gloves is a fine choice. So just remove it. Yeah. Alright. So let's practice with this a little bit. Yeah. Ha ha! Ha ha! Yeah, it ha. does. It looks like it takes up a little bit more of your endurance to swing, but you'll get more damage out of it. Uh, yeah. Not actually a ton more. I was expecting it to be more than that. Uh, oh, more, uh, eat up more endurance? Yeah. Yeah. The Most of what re uh, eats up your endurance is your weight load. Mm-hmm. Um, there were some items around the central bonfire, <laughs> the central fire. Sorry, I was just entertained mm -hmm. because I rolled off of this and bounced off the top of this guy. Mm -hmm. uh, around here? Yeah, like there's a item right there. They're kind of hard to see because they kind of glow in with the guy's armor. 
And because there's so, so many, many particle effects on right now. Yup. Jesus Christ, it's like my first uh, RPG Maker game up in here right now. <laughs> Still really goddamn pretty. Yes. <sighs> like it's, it's just they could um, probably okay. afford so to tone it down are, a little. Yeah, we are not going left. We are going right. Okay. There, you're going to run up those stairs, kill the guy with the crossbow. Okay. And then a guy is going to come up behind you. He's probably about to be on you, honestly. This is a lot harder to hit with. All yeah. oh, right, lock on. Yeah. Thing. Oh right. wow, yeah. He took forever to come up those stairs to help his friend. Definitely a lot more damage though. Yep. Um, actually, let me see, see a control real quick. Uh, actually, no, nah, you know what? We'll be fine. We're not going to change you up. Okay, so you're going to go up these stairs. Um, All right, I can also actually, no, go left. Or right, sorry. Right and up those stairs. There's two items. Um, you can get this item. You can jump to that roof and get that item. And because you killed the fat guy, you, yeah. I Oh, the rapier is actually bad to wield two-handed. I bet you get more damage, but it's not, it's nowhere, the attack is nowhere near as quick. I mean, it's about the same speed that the mm. two-handed dagger was. Okay. Um, hop, hop. Damn oh, it. no. Oh, that actually hurt. Yeah. Uh, we'll give it another shot, and if I fuck it up again. We'll... Yeah, I mean. Is the item important? Um, not particularly, I All don't right. think. And then I, if I fuck it up again, I'm just going to ignore it. Yeah. There we go. Oh, yeah, okay. It's not important because you will never use that item. It's never worth to use the item. You're going to give it to Pickle P. Oh. Um, and I think you give it to Pickle P for, I want to say, one of Solaire's pieces of armor. Eh. But, eh. Or you can sell it for an easy 2,000 souls, which is what I think I did with it the first time. Um, because unlike Dark Souls 2, you can't repair it. Mm. I don't actually think there's anything here, but yeah, it's a liar. I'm sure that the one right behind it says liar ahead. Yeah. All right, fair enough. <laughs> the the third the three most common messages: hidden passage, liar ahead, jump here. And by jump here, I mean jump off this fucking cliff. Yep. Okay, there's gonna be an enemy on your right, but like there are here. four guys hanging off that corner. So if you, yeah, if you can, shoot him. Shooter! Shooter? Shooter. Pew pew. Well, you at least aggroed him. Yep. And got him do. coming your way. Come here. Come here. He's like, who did that? C come he, here. He's, he's, you gotta get a little closer. You won't um, aggro him. Oh. <laughs> he's going towards where the... <laughs> I didn't know they did that. Apparently. Walk. You can walk a little closer in. Yeah. Well, too late. Yeah. Um. Where are the? They're all hanging off this corner. They'll aggro when you try and go through the door. And through the door is a lift, which I think you have to pull a lever to get to come down. So you. Oh, uh, actually, it looks like the lift is there. Oh god. Yeah. They're coming. Oh, roll, roll out, roll out, roll out. You, you, they will just all gang up and ape shit you. Nice. Shish kebab. The extra range is nice. I yeah. don't know about this rapier. Uh, I'm going to keep trying it for a bit. Mm -hmm. I think there's a I have this corner. Yeah. Green uh, blossom. Yeah. Um, it is a consumable item that gives, while active, gives you um, increased endurance regen. Right, it is very it. useful in boss fights when you need it to avoid shit tons of attacks. Um, I think... No, there's no item here. There's an item at the top of the lift on a corpse that you'll be able to see. Uh, do I just step yeah. on this, right? Yes. This, so remember the part of the level where you went out on the platform, killed the guy with the uh, crossbow and the two dogs on the walkway? Yeah. This is where you are now, at the bottom of those side stairs. Um, so now you've opened this up, and you are now have a shortcut from the first bonfire to a part that is past the second bonfire. Okay, neat. Yeah. Um, yeah, there's the guy with the axe. Wait, I'd wait for him to go further up the stairs and kill the guy on the left. Oh, there was an item here that we never got. I think we just... We didn't go down it. here. Yeah, we ignored it because... 
Yeah. And it's nothing important anyway. Yeah. Oh, it's a. Oh, hi. Uh, you want to wake up there? Thanks. Oh god! <laughs> I don't know what happened. He his, slung over your head. His axe seemingly passed through my neck. Oh! Oh, Carter. <laughs> so here's what we're gonna do here. Are we gonna you? What are we doing? Oh, we're going back to the weapon. You're just more familiar with it from at this point. No, we're going back to the weapon with a horizontal swing. Uh, <laughs> no, that's fair. That's completely fair. Um, because the vertical swing is so hard. When I keep forgetting to lock on. Yeah. Um, um, I think there's an auto lock on that we could try turning on. Um, uh, maybe want, we'll try that. Yeah. Later. Okay. My recommendation. Run. Yes. Oh shit! The guy with the crossbow. Roll. It's, it's not fine. very helpful okay. when you say roll. Sorry. When I need to have already pressed the button to roll. That's fair. Um, okay, but on the bright side, the you hop on this bonfire and just hop over to the other one. Because yeah. the door is still open. And then go up to, yeah, go up to the high wall. Grab yeah, we'll grab your souls. We'll uh, let me think. Can we get to the we can definitely get to the first real boss all right cool and i think we can definitely do that by the end of the night yeah we'll we'll go die um, to the first real boss yeah uh, that'll be fun honestly i um i think the first boss is easier than iodex um udir what the what the oh mm -hmm. it's a yeah yeah i got it now yeah because who needs a shirt um it they're just they they're wearing it for the low weight ratio yes um, i just yeah. It didn't look like a phantom at first because of how pink it was. Because yeah. they're usually, yeah, they're usually a lot grayer. <laughs> Chairs are hard. Chairs are hard. Wait, did the dog disappear again? No, there's two. Oh, okay. I thought that one was further I, along. Spy. Yeah. I was about to say, game, what? It, it had been, but I think it turned around. Oh, while uh, was... so here is something you can do. If you don't want to fight these, you can just run down there. And grab your souls, jump to the lift. Roll to the lift. And you can fight this guy, yeah, if you want. Shoot him in the butt. I don't know where I... he thinks he's oh, going. Oh, I think I know where he thinks he's going. I don't think he knows where he thinks he's going. Take the souls and run! Alright. Yeah. Um, now, uh, remi uh, reminder that when you get to the bottom of the lift, the apeshit guys are now going to be close to you and on your left. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be important to, uh, um, um, to just run out, get to the other side, kill the guy that's already out, um, or... You can just run over there and try and knock as many off as possible. Um, do whatever you want to do. Um, okay. It's going to be kind of hard to kill that guy. You might be able to get a good soul yeah. arrow angle on him, but his... Oh, nope, he sees you. Cool. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> nice. Okay. Okay. And so now... Uh, yeah. We're going to... Turn around or roll. There you go. Now you only got to fight two. Nice. Yeah. All right. Not hard to kill. Just quantity over qu uh, quality is what they were going for in that build. All right. So where uh, to now? Um. Okay. You're gonna um, kill this guy. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. I have a question. Do you have blood in you? Yes, you do. Thank you for completing our survey here at Dark Souls 3. <laughs> do you have blood? I I would okay. like to see your manager. Um, okay, you can go grab that item. No fuss. Um, uh, let me think how you're going to... Uh, boss first or key item first? Uh, key item involves fighting those two knights first. You can, you can get one at a time. This guy has a spear, though, and a tall shield. He's going to be... He is harder in my, 
MIO. Well. Well, but not when he doesn't have his shield up. Let's live our best life. Yeah. And the, the honestly, I don't think the spells are going to be super, super useful against the boss. Alright. You need to hit A to get rid of that. Yeah. Um, why the two hand? Huh. Oh, sorry. Just, I'm... Yeah, sorry. I was looking at chat. Mm. Uh, uh, such cheating, much wow. <laughs> oh shit, yeah, we haven't been doing the death counter. We're no. at... You I have no idea. I haven't been paying attention, that was your job. Yeah, give me a moment. You actually haven't died that much. No. I mean, but magic does that. Also, I got the ring. Yeah, you Get did. Get effed. All right. Which ring? Sure. The serpent ring. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we did get that. Check the drive. That's why we're getting 33 souls from these uh, chuckle fucks. Instead of 30. Yeah. With the number of them I've killed, it's almost relevant. It's, I mean, it can be really relevant for, like, the boss fights. Yeah. And what the real pro strats are is there is a technically enough time between a boss's death. Well, maybe that's where the dog wins. I don't know how. You all saw that. Yeah. You you all saw that happen. We need that clipped. Check the drive. I need you to press the clip button. I do. Yeah, we, we're gonna need you to do that for a moment. I um. But oh, so the pro strats I was trying to talk about is there is enough time between a boss's death animation. And the get souls um, prompt to uh, take off one of the rings you're wearing and put on the silver serpent ring. I see. Yeah. We're not going to do that. Nice. Yeah, I realized that using my right hand to, mm -hmm. to thumb the D-pad makes everything a lot easier. Really? Yeah, it just Interesting. makes... Interesting. I, I have not used my, my left hand for the D-pad in a while, and huh. it has made my life infinitely better in No, game. that's very interesting. Because um, um, I, I don't. I use the left D-pad. But I also... If when I'm... Well, eating, I mean, I'm using the left D-pad. I'm just... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I or just... Or the D, only I, D -pad. Or, Yeah, I use my left hand for the um, D-pad. But I also don't use it very much at all. Um, once I am in combat, oh come on! I typically do not use um, use begin using the D pad. Oh, I thought he was dead. Um, I, got I kind of figure out. Okay, this is what I want my D pad to be. I also usually don't have more than two or three items in the bottom section. Yeah, I would imagine you you wouldn't. Um, what the? What? I saw something. It's oh. that guy. It's that chuckle fuck. Uh, yeah. Fuck him. <laughs> yeah. I don't need your... I don't need your... Oh, oh, oh yeah. God. yeah. Not that the, mistake. The elevator does not reset. <laughs> um, which is why I'll... Um, if I anticipate using the elevator again because death, I assume that I'll take the elevator, take it down, get to the bottom, reactivate it, and then quickly get back off so it's back at the top again. Mm-hmm. You can't uh, send it back up. You gotta use the button on the platform. Yeah. Um, that part's really fun. Yeah. Uh, what am I doing here? There is a guy on the left that you're gonna shoot with a soul arrow, and then there's the guys. Right. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um. Uh, nope. Too many things. Come here. And with. 20 minutes left? I say we go just, you just want to try going straight to the boss? Uh. Because sure. you could, because you can technically just get to the key item by, uh. Um. Oop, that's not my wine. Yeah, that's what they do. Right. They'll just, two or three of those guys will just do that and just. Uh, but pick up your souls. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Alright. Um. It, it's like it ran up the stairs and somehow got shunted out. Yeah, it definitely got caught in something. I'm not mm -hmm. sure. Uh, what's, which way so, are we going? This guy. The, um, oh, right, right, right. Yes. Uh, the man who's my Oh, wow, you have 18 at this point. 
Oh. You're, yeah. Yeah. He was much further away than I thought. Mm. Ooh, I think you're going to get his, um, his uh, crossbow bolts. That's fun. I'm guessing. It could also be a tight knife. Oh, no, he got his hat. That's, yeah, nice. That's a solid 50 souls. I, it's like, I can't even wear my own hat. Nope. But, but I will sell your hat. Um, so yeah, if you, you want to wouldn't go, steal a policeman's hat, um, you can basically go out those windows and drop onto those stairs and just avoid the knights. Um, and right below you here on this side, look down uh, more closer. Look if you down, can. look down. Uh, You're that, standing in. There, there's, where is he? That guy on the stairs? Yeah, that guy on the stairs is a guy with a crossbow. So when you go down the stairs to engage the guys with a shield, he shoots you in the kidney. Okay, so do I jump down here? You, yeah. You can just, that doesn't uh, seem like a good plan. It seems like I'm going to take a lot of damage. I don't think you will. Okay. I could be wrong. <laughs> well, there might be a there might be a better spot to jump uh, drop down on. Go a little bit further, or look down on look down to the right. Um, doesn't. Nope. It looks like I can go further down. Yeah. Oh well, I can go oh, yeah. down to this. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, that's what I was... Yeah, and then you can still drop attack onto that schmuck. Can't lock him. Yeah. Unfortunately. All right. Uh... You, you should just be able to walk off and... Yeah. Oh, what? Did not... No, I pressed the wrong button. Oh, okay. Um... Um... Oh. Hi. Yeah. If you wanted to, you could probably just roll past them and run down and go through the mist if you were so inclined uh, um, they are very slow attackers engaging two of them at once isn't awful um, or you could yeah to try to do a run jump attack oh. or just shoot them in the butt yeah but again because magic isn't going to be super useful to you in this next fight um, he's like Jim what happened to you? <laughs> Tell my wife I said hello. You don't have a wife. Oh, right. Jenny left you because you're a corpse and you never fed the kids. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, so... <laughs> I, I just kind of... I'm going to I tried to combine, mm -hmm. like, several different normal household chores yeah. and end up as never fed kids. Okay. Um, um, okay. I didn't mean for it to be that extreme, but yeah. hey. I um, guess you didn't feed the yeah, kids. Yeah. So to the left is in, is the boss room. You activate it by walking all the way to the back side and trying to go through that door. I would recommend, because you have two Estus, we don't want to go back to the bonfire. Though you do have 5,500 souls. I think it's fine. Um, I would recommend using an Ember. That'll give you, that will fill your health bar, increase your health bar, and then you're not using your Estus flask, and I think we could, I think we could potentially one, uh, one shot this boss. Um, so uh, we are about to fight so and so of the Boreal Valley. Okay. He is a dude on all fours with a mace. What he likes to do is he likes to hit. Basically, what he likes to do in his first, um, in his first half before he goes to stage two, so um is he likes to swing the mace, he likes to beat down with his fist, and that's about it. You can really, actually, pretty safely just get up into his face, roll under him, mm -hmm. be behind him, and stab him in the butt. So I, I want to roll through him. And, yeah, like, you can get under him, okay. basically. And be, get behind him and stab him. What will happen in stage two is he gets, he roars, he gets angry, he gets more frosty, because his weapon deals some frost damage and will um slowly stack up frostbite frostbite um drastically lowers your endurance recovery and increases your endurance use things use more endurance when he gets into stage two he gets very bestial and what he does is he does these charging attacks which he does three in succession which you can when he runs at you you roll through him immediately turn around he charges you again, roll through him, he turns around, charges at you, you roll through him, and then he goes into a breath weapon animation. The breath weapon animation has a long wind-up, 
it is a spray effect that he um, radiates I, out, and you, this is, when he does that, you get behind him and stab him. In this the is a huge jump of information. I think okay. it's going to be like I don't think it's it's going to okay. Anything's going to stick until we actually do this. Got it. But right. yeah, so I, I put on the rapier because I think that's going to work better against a boss. Sure. Um, he is also weak to fire, so those fire bombs could be useful for finishing him off in a pinch. Okay. But yeah, essentially, you do this and he shows up, and it's very much fighting a normal boss. He's going to swing down at you. He's going to do a few this. He doesn't really have any charging attacks in stage one. He's okay. pretty slow and pretty well telegraphed. And again, rolling into and under him is your best bet. Okay. So can I just, like, basically roll straight through him, or do I have to, like, kind of roll around? Him? You can go roll straight under and through him. All right, cool. I like him a lot. He's pretty awesome. Vort of the Boreal Valley. So, yeah. Do uh, you want to hit Y for two-handing? All right. Okay. I'll try it. Uh, yeah. I, oh, yeah. We, yeah. So, yeah. Get a little closer and roll through. And, yeah. Um. Yeah. You roll through and maneuver yourself to the butt. And. Didn't work yeah. entirely as advertised. No. It may take two rolls to get to his butt. Okay. Um, what is this? That is the frostbite. And when it gets up, it, you'll get a status effect. Oh, nice. Oh, well... Couldn't capitalize, but yeah. I didn't take damage, so... Yeah. Um, it, when it fills up, your endurance gets weaker, and it makes you slower. Okay. Whoop. Nice. Get eye framed. Um, hi? Okay. Poke. Okay. Yeah. Boop. Boop. Well, that was well, useless. I'm probably going to die. I think you got this. I do not. Okay. But we'll find out. Yeah. Yeah, You actually, in this fight, you do want to get close to him because he does slower, more telegraphed moves. Okay. Um, cool. And that are easier to roll through because you'll be on the back end of where the attack is, and so you're in its damage thing for a shorter period. Okay. Um. But yeah, I um and yeah, just unfortunately with him, unlike um, Iudex um uh um Udyr, um getting backing him away and forcing him into a a more favorable attack pattern doesn't really work on him as much. Um. Uh. Um. Just ro rolling twice and really getting behind him. And stabbing him is kind of the best uh, option you got. Wow. Okay. That man does not give a fuck about my stabs. Nope. There you go. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Um. I almost wonder. Um. If. Uh, reallocating your Estus might be better because you're not going to be using a lot of magic between here and him. Yeah. Um, if, and if you want, like, though, go if you want to go in and just try um, uh, using magic and see how well that works for his first half, I just do definitely don't think it's going to be very useful in the second half. But yeah, you could totally just run, run, run. Um... This way. Yep. Nope. You're fine. Just a uh, well placed roll. <laughs> Why did you say that? Because <laughs> I thought you would make a well placed roll. <laughs> it's fine. Most of the most of the important souls. How will is come. it running like a bitch directly into danger? Like how is that like a bitch? That doesn't. That does not, that does not follow. Yeah. Check the drive. <laughs> Rip souls. Eh. So? Oh, run like a bitch through the fog. 
Yeah, I got yeah. that, but it's yeah. like, I, that's to the boss. Oh my god, this... You don't like the rapier. It, it might... really sucks. Yeah. Unfortunately. I know it's useful, like, actually, this is something I can show you. It does have... Oh. I don't know if the damage was worth it, but... No, absolutely not. No. Is it... How did all the dog get out of here? What is this dog? I don't know, but you get your ass to that lift. I don't know why. Because... I'm not gonna lie, I was expecting the dog to tackle you as the lift began going. Oh what? shit! Did you see that man? Yeah, and he just fell down the hole. <laughs> I got his souls! Yeah. <laughs> um, so hold right um I'm sorry, hold left the bumper with the rapier. Or uh, uh, left bumper? I think it's left bumper. This button? You mean left trigger? Oh, I guess it is okay, sorry, yeah. Left trigger and now hit now hit right bumper? It does fancy stuff that uses the blue. I see. Yeah. So and maybe that's where... Oh, hi! Okay. Yeah. Apparently... I, I thought we were safe from him, but... He did not take kindly... To our fencing practice. The counter is never accurate because Philip is never paying attention. I forget it exists in my defense. This is like the first time we've used it. Yep. Also, this this sword is absolutely going away. Yeah, I... I, I, uh, I it's... It's not... I, I think it is definitely has a much I, I think it definitely has a much higher skill cap. Um, yeah, I guess, but it, it doesn't is, even seem to do that much more damage. Like mm, it does a little more damage, but it doesn't reduce the number of swings. Yeah, like maybe by one, but I swing so much slower with it. Mm -hmm. It doesn't make any sense. Bullshit! Oh, what? I think I I didn't increase it enough. Is what check the drive is saying? Uh -huh. No, you increased it by three, and he said three. Oh. You all use the joke. It's pretty apparently. it's pretty new. Um, it's not that new. No. Oh. It's been around for a while. Has it? Okay. Yeah. But it's just very rare that any of us have ever used it. Yeah. Chris it's... is Uh oh. Yep. Okay. No oh, I would have see if you can make him. Sir, sir, I'm gonna need you to get off the elevator. <laughs> drop attack. No, don't drop attack. It's too late. <laughs> um, oh, that's what I was talking about. But yeah, basically that area with the ladder where we were talking about before, I accidentally fell going after someone going down that ladder. And as they were sliding down the ladder, I fell, but rapid hit um, right bumper. And so I ended up drop attacking him Killing him on, while he was on the ladder, getting the kill, and then splatting on the ground, killing myself. Yeah. This guy really... Tenacious fucker. Yep. Oh, wow, you have so little hit points. You yeah, need to I drink this flask now. Not even gonna fuck with this guy. There you go. Where did you come from? They're, they're, they came the same way down the same way you then did. Then how did he drop in front of me? I don't know. That's why I asked where he came from. They uh, can't follow you in, BT Dubs. Yeah, I know that. Okay. Well, in some of the Dark Souls boss fights, they can, with the ones with projectiles, could shoot through it. Oh god. I didn't know he had a leap attack. I've never prompted a leap attack. Yeah, because I was doing that because I'm like, I can I can do this. Philip said oh, he didn't yeah. have a leap attack. And why would Philip lie to me? Because I've only ever done melee in this game. I've never done ranged. I um so this is almost as much of a learning experience for me as it is you. I don't even know what happened there. I'm just going to mulligan this. Yeah, mulligan, and you, you really got to... Check the drive. is trying to remind you of that. Oh, thank you. <laughs> right, but, like, my sword was going inside of his corpus, and it just wasn't counting. Mm. And I don't know why. Yeah.
Okay, now go. Pull. Pull the lever, crunk. <laughs> I'm just expecting him to... I was expecting him to run through the door as soon as you went and started going down the lift. That would be fine. Yeah. And oh. Nice. What's down there? Death. There is nothing down there. Huh. Just automatic death. Raw, unadulterated death. Alright. Fuck this guy. Fuck you! Um... Fuck this guy as well. Excuse me. Kindly, sir. Please go. Fuck yourself. What a douche. Sir? Sir? I'm gonna need you to calm down. Sir? Excuse me, sir. But I believe you need to go fuck yourself. See? This guy's... This guy gets the program. Yeah. <laughs> no fuss, no muss. I'm just obliterate. <laughs> <laughs> obliterate. It's a very, it is a very uh, nice, visceral feeling. I like how he aggroed the instant before he got oh. hit by the arrow. <laughs> just like, hey, there's a guy over there doing it. Mm. Okay. No. There's nothing but knights up here. Yeah, I know. Okay. Oh, you don't want to go do the boss fight? No. <laughs> okay. Damn it! Can I do the boss you fight? You bastard! I trusted you! I fuck, fuck. Oh, God! Hi! Hi! <laughs> Everything's fine! <laughs> Lock on, you fucking camera! <laughs> like I said, this game would be easy mode, and this game would have a camera that worked the way you wanted it to. You're. I'm so it fucking worked. surprised that it worked. worked. Fuck that you. should not have worked. Uh, I believe it should have worked, and it did. <laughs> I'm gonna laugh when this guy just skewers you like a fucking slice of salami. This is the one guy I've beaten before. This guy? Yeah. I thought this was the guy that killed you when you tried to fight the knights. No, I killed this guy, and the other knight killed me. God damn, lock on. This lock on sucks. Seriously, this is this lockdown is so annoying because there's just a hard cutoff point, and it's mm -hmm. like after this point, just fuck everything. It's gonna go wherever the hell it wants. You're now looking at something off in the distance. Your character is goddamn ADHD <laughs> all the time, no matter what. That's what happens when you die. You get ADHD for no apparent fucking reason. Well, they haven't invented. You haven't found the Aperol. But, uh, <laughs> I couldn't even finish. <laughs> You haven't found the Adderall consumable yet. <sighs> Can I do the boss fight? No. Aww. <laughs> oh, so you're forgetting the counter again. <laughs> Seriously, though, if there was a consumable that would just, like... Increase, increase your the targeting range. range. Like, not even increase the range at which you can target, but just increases the range at which the target will fucking stick. Mm -hmm. It would be amazing. And, uh, get a little closer, see if you can aggro him and just make him run up the stairs. Like he, you've done before. Nah. Just ape shit. Really thought the stun from the kick would last longer. The stun for the kick is mostly for knocking the shield, uh, for knocking uh, shields out of the way. <laughs> I hate you so much. Why? Because when I run out of stamina, my attacks take a lot longer to uh, um to He's start dead. up again. I don't want to. I want to use my awesome karate sword. The karate sword sucks, and you suck. The karate <laughs> sword is amazing. <laughs> it sucks. It's the worst weapon in the game, and you know. It. <laughs> no, it's not. It's so fucking good. Um, because <laughs> can you even inter can you make it do anything? Hi, <laughs> you've been framed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Help! I'm in a barrel and I can't get out. Someone push my little red button that's around my neck. <laughs> so are we killing the knights or doing the boss fight? Killing the knights. God damn it. You just go type. I yeah. actually have a shot at killing the knights. Yeah. I have no chance of killing this boss. I bet. Yes, I think you really could. I really don't. Okay. Are we... Okay. Yep. Hello? Sir? Sir? I'd like to form... I would like to make Hello? a formal complaint. Sir? Wait behind this pillar, and hey, uh, did someone want to make a formal complaint? <laughs> Ultimate prank, bro! Ha ha ha! Uh, See, it's a prank because I killed him. <laughs> I don't think that's how pranks work. Exactly how pranks work. Not sure which one of them hit me. I'm not sure either. Uh, <laughs> And that's uh, Dark that's this Souls, guy. Can I speak to you? I, no, I know where the manager is. It's this guy right here. Right, yeah. It's clearly, they would only the manager's allowed to have a allowed to have a hat and crossbow. Okay. Okay. Uh, you can um go down those stairs and avoid the spear guys in Aggro the Knights, or we can do this again. I don't care. Just letting you know your options. Yeah, but the spear guys are super easy. Yeah, they just, you shoot them once with soul arrow. <laughs> like how he just doesn't notice. Hey, hey um, Jerry? Oh man, yeah, Jerry, that looks like so much fun. Let me get to the top of the stairs and I'll... Yeah. You can start from there. It's fine. It's fine. No, see, he didn't get have enough momentum, and he stopped. Um, he stopped. No, he didn't. Okay, no, yeah, no, he didn't. He's good. He's good. This is good. All right. Um, take a nap, Larry. Shoot him in the butt. I said shoot him in the butt. God, I can't do one. One. You had one job. Uh, wait, wait. I'm gonna guess chest armor. Oh, uh, fuck. My phone is going off. It's fine. I'm sure you'll die, and you'll be able to answer it. Oh, an ember. You can get embers from these fuckers. So you can I did not embers. know that. I was told that embers were... I thought embers were limited. I have never seen someone drop embers. All right. I need... Uh, I'm just going to drag this guy up here, because I think this is going to be a better space to fight him. I think that's that's fair. I would hit A. You, you get yeah. yeah. Sure. All right. I think you like if you wanted to soul arrow him here. I think you totally could. Um, or could I mean, this, but every time I soul arrow him, he just shields it. Oh, okay. He's more responsive with his shield than the other guy. Nice. Let's give it another shot. Nah. Okay. Still a little bit of damage, though. Yeah, but it's just... Ah, uh, too slow. Oh, God. I really, really hate that when I'm too slow on the... Um... He just shield bashes you. Well, no. I What I hate is that mm. when I'm too slow on it, I get hit. And then after I'm done getting hit, it automatically rolls. Mm -hmm. And it's just like, I didn't want to roll that way anymore. Ah, uh, one too many rolls. Yep. Cool. We're fine. We're fine. Apparently, he can shield spells, but not firebombs. Oh, now he can it shield up. firebombs. Okay, I'd still throw one. He's at so little health. Uh, yeah, that's. Oh come on! <laughs> Okay. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Chipped him out. Yep. Okay, and now you can uh, go talk to the nice lady. You want me to go talk to the nice lady? Uh, yes. Okay. We're going to go talk to the nice lady.
Hey. Hello? And then I'm gonna go fight the boss. Hello? And one shot it. Maybe. Oh, that was me, Audrix. That was. It, it's always me. Just assume it's me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Duke, banner. Thank you. Who has time for walking? Also, we might be able to get a level out of this. Oh yeah, and he had some item souls as well. We'll go hawk those. Wait, no. We can give that to Pickle P. We'll give those to Pickle P later. Because uh, we're probably going to have to call the stream pretty soon. Um, I just want to see if I can beat this boss. Before Carter gets back and rips the controller out of my hand. He won't rip it out of my hand, but I do, do want to see if we can kill, uh, kill this boss. Real quick. wall do I have the elevator I don't think I do bodied okay not gonna lie that worked out just a lot better than I was anticipating it would okay first thing is ah, I should have gone oh well we're just gonna haul ass Fighting things? No. You're not supposed to fight things. No. I don't want you give you, you give that. Damn it! <laughs> I wanted to put you through to the boss room. There's literally nothing else to do. We have done everything we can do except for the boss. Right. Uh except it's past ten. No, it's not. Yeah, but we started late. Uh I mean, according to you, we started on time, so... I just, yeah, but that means... Carter, I want to be the boss. Come on. You've gotten to play all night. Let me have a turn. <laughs> <laughs> You're about to get aped on by those knights. Yep. Oh, no, you didn't aggro them. I guess you got them in a good spot. Um, hold on. I just need to try to coordinate my hands for a second. Because I want to try... Carter, you've already tried getting stabbed. I wanted to try a lunging attack, or a jumping attack. Oh, on wow. the steps. Wow, okay, just... No chance. Apparently. Um, Seriously, though, can I fight the boss? <laughs> fine. Take her on it. Yay. One shot, guys. We got this. It's uh, not what that word means. Term. Whatever. First try. But yeah, everything is is fine. Okay, cool. Um, Good to hear. Though, by the way, mm -hmm. uh, the um, uh oh, what? 
not anything like that. Oh, okay. Um, just the uh, the actual charge mm-hmm. for uh, Thea two. Oh, what? It should have gone through today. Oh, okay. Because it's funded and shit. Yep. Because woohoo, it's Thea two. All right. Speaking of special things that are coming up in the future, oh in yeah, the much nearer future. Uh, this Saturday, we are doing a special stream because our friends from Chattanooga are going to be down here. That's right. Sam and Catherine are going to be here in studio with us, and we are going to do a special all-night stream on Saturday. This is going to be our big, uh, mm-hmm. like, October. spoopy Halloween event, uh, because Halloween this year is on a Tuesday. Mom, but Matt, we bro. will still be doing something on Halloween. Uh, we are going to have a... We're going to be streaming live from Battle and Brew. So Ooh. if you... If you want to join us in chat, you can come hang out and watch our antics. Or if you'd like to join us in person, oh, that was um, close. you can join us at Battle and Brew. And if you are in the the northern wow, I feel like so little damage should help. Um, I yeah yeah I. This was a, a thought I had expressed. Yeah. <laughs> ow, ow, ow. Got there. Um, those are okay. our two big streams okay. this month. This is where shit gets real. But we okay. do still have our normal streams. One, two, and three. And then you haul ass. He does a stupid, wound up, over exaggerated breath attack where you just stab this thing as far up there as it will go. I mean, Odd Tricks, you could just join us and then just, like, find an alleyway. That's not... Ow. I'm not that, actually that, advocating that. that idea. It's a bad plan. Um, it's gonna... Come on. Come on, do your stupid thing. But you can still join us in chat, even if you can't be here in person. Yeah. Um, Ow. <laughs> that was not how that was supposed to go. I mean, it's exactly how it was supposed to go. I can't take another hit. Damn. You mean like that? Yeah. Oh, well. Okay, yep, I had my go. Uh, anyway. Uh, you can blame me. That's fine. Yeah. Um, I I won't do anything about it, nor will I be legally responsible. Nope. But you can blame me. That's, that is that is your right. Yep. Uh, so, this has, been, this has been Dark Souls. There's no joy here. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> um, tomorrow, we will be doing... Tomorrow's Tuesday, so... Yes, but is it Luigi, Luigi Tuesday, or is it Mario Tuesday? I don't know. I just always assume it's Kingdom Hearts. It's, it hasn't been Kingdom Hearts in months. I still would argue that by the majority of our usual Tuesdays... It's still, the safe bet is still statistically Kingdom Hearts. At this point, it might actually be Mario. Really? Yeah, I think so. Um, I think it is, yeah, I think it is Mario and Luigi. Mm-hmm. And on Wednesday, We're... it will be us two chuckle fucks again. Oh, yeah, getting sad. Yep. It's real time... sad. And it sounds like it's time to get real sad real quick. Oh, yeah. God damn it. I forgot which section we're coming up to. Um, oh, that's right. This Thursday is Luigi mm. Tuesday. Ah, okay. Yeah, I should actually probably look at our calendar. Yeah, our calendar is a little crazy right now, but th- over the course of this mm-hmm. month, it's going to be settling out. Boop, and boop, then boop, 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 boop. after this month in November, mm-hmm. we're going to be on a much more regular schedule, so it's going to be a lot yeah. easier to At follow. least that's the plan. But, uh, that's the yeah. plan. There's going to be a little bit more of a shakeup um, late next month and early December. Uh, we are Battery actually going to be... Medium. I don't care. <laughs> battery medium. Not even battery low. Just like, eh, battery's okay. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, so, next, um, we're, we're actually going to be moving. We're going to move on to 
the secret underwater, the third yeah. secret underwater Kraken base. Yeah, the third one? Well, it will be the third. Y'all been keeping the secret from me. Have you not heard about it? No, I've heard about okay. it. Okay. Just... <laughs> <laughs> the jokes, Carter, the jokes and the memes. I never know with you! I know, and I like to keep it that way. Good night, everybody. Good night.